Alright, so we, when we last left off, you guys had further explored the complex on the asteroid. Nice. You learned that the corpse fleet had uh, done experiments there utilizing what you would believe to be one of the uh, power cores for the stellar degenerator. And that they had managed to take some of the black oozes that were there and combine them into one. Uh, they got as far as six successfully, and on seven, bad things happened. You continue to explore. You are now in this room. Uh, off to your northwest is a giant pool of acid. I believe you guys can see that. Yeah, we can see that. We can see the edge of that, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we can see how Ghost is at the front. Right. So there's a giant pool of acid. There's a door to your right and a door to your southwest. You have put light sticks around, so you do have some visibility in the room. Don't need to turn the lights on. No, it's all right. Unless you want to. I don't want to. Go ahead. I think we need to set an ambush for the creature. Draw it out of the walls. I'm going to add one more. Adam, I'm sorry. In the bottom right, there's like a circle in the room. Where? Uh, let me see. I'm going to move your light stick to it just so you can see. Good, because I have no idea what you're talking about. That looks like a statue. I thought that was a dead guy. It, 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 yes, but when I look at the map, it's actually a staircase down. So there's a staircase down there. Oh, when you look at the map, but not when we look. Yes. Um, did we did we figure out what attracts this creature? Us getting closer to the walls. Us. <laughs> Your noise. Oh, we're, we're talking the ooze inside the. The ooze inside the walls that comes out and tries to stab people that people are just narrowly dodging. That's so, the thing. So Jeff missed the part where we. we oh, sorry, Jeff slept through all this. Yeah. yeah. We, once they merged six oozes into Seven. one, yeah. they got the six. It began to exhibit um, a group claws that it could attack with, and that's the kind of thing you've been experiencing that have missed you so far. Yeah. But that has, you know, hasn't actually uh, connected, which you haven't seen either, other than the uh, the claw from the vents. Uh, dudes, uh, anybody have anything that we can toss some of this acid in? Could be handy for later. I believe we're all out of glass jars at the moment. Plastic. Did anybody put any in the in the little bag? That's a really big bag on the inside. Can't fill the bag up with it. The no. null space chamber that you've got on your list there. That thing. That thing. Yeah, that's what it's called. So you want to fill that <laughs> thing with no, five hundred no, no. pounds mean... of acid? No, 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 no. I have some good stuff in there. I don't want to kill it with that. Um, I'm saying, did anybody put anything in? The the no the spaceship. null galaxy chamber that made it. Did, like, did anybody put any glass jars in there? Is there any chance of that? Because I really just want to go home. I just I, want to know: is the null galaxy chamber on Orion's belt by any chance? <laughs> no, it's in, the TARDIS. it's in the TARDIS, Adam. So. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, can you do that? <laughs> the the, the lab that we just came from. Did they have any glass bottles that we could just go grab? The, the, anything breakable in there was it was broken. Okay. That it was, was more of a. Idea. It wasn't that kind of lab. Are there any dead bodies nearby? No. Are you saying can, like we can, can hollow go. out their skull and carry acid in it? You're no, cruel. What if we throw a dead body in it? If you go back to the southwest where the quarters were, yes, there were bodies there. Fill their bladder, maybe, and hope the bladder is okay. Wait a minute, not I, organic. Want to throw a dead body in the acid? Yeah. I mean, eventually we'll neutralize the amount of acid that's in there. Ghost, go, go, ghost. Eventually. I at least he's starting to get on my good side a little. <laughs> I know, right? She is asking good questions now. Can we throw the yeah, dead body the, in this pool of throw acid? A body in the acid? I mean I mean I mean that that's that's awesome. We should go get one for her. I agree. W was a live body in acid not good enough for you? We could always use your body, Ozzy. Uh, you did pretty well last time. Everybody I, say, I say let's go let's go south. Let's go check out that uh stairwell? Stairwell. That's agreed. The, Okay, so a couple things. First, uh, it's pretty clear to you that that acid is the same acid that was up, that was up top oh, where you, the one where you that fought that creature. Yes. Uh, number two, I forgot to recap at Benny's. According to my list, Jeff has two. Jules has two. I had two. I thought I had three. Mike has two. Bob has three. Adam has three. And Chris has one. Did you count the one you gave me? I did. Dude, I actually used one last session. Yeah, that was you crazy. Did. Nice, Mike. So, all right, you're heading down the little staircase there. Who's going first? 
Ozzy. 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 Go so far. Oh, I, I have to move John. you down here, Adam, because you can't move yourself there. I want to go back. I want to go back. <laughs> I can't go back. You can't. You, it, it, you can't cross the threshold. Only I could. You cross the threshold. It could be bad. <laughs> Don't cross the streams, Adam. <clears throat> All right. So that is what you guys see. Oh, more stairs. Or is yeah, that... You came from... There's stairs in the northwest corner. I'll put a light there for you. What's that, Mike? Where do these stairs go? <laughs> they go down. They go down. Uh, these stairs appear to be man-made. Uh, are, are, is this... Sorry, go ahead. They're carved in. All, all the steps are carved in. Okay. It, it, am I standing in, like, an actual space, or is this... What is this right Goal. here that I'm standing on? No space. <laughs> to your left, Adam, that is part of the acid. It looks like it's eaten under underneath. It's kind of flows through into there. Okay, I didn't actually go in there then. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to let you have that. Thanks. I am benevolent. Like an acid fall? So, I there. have a question. Has anyone ever seen a creature like this before? Do we know how to kill it? Only um, we cut it in half. Well, we we did encounter we did encounter some of the smaller versions before these crazy people put them all together. I mean, who would take who would take parts of different creatures and put them together in weird various combinations? <laughs> uh, Thank you, Bob. That was good, man. <laughs> all right, do you guys see that light now by the stairs? Can yes yes can okay. we do a life science check based on the video that we've observed and the small creatures that we've observed to see if we can get a sense of uh, its weaknesses or strengths or its types of attacks anything like that? So you know from your experience with the the pudding the the oozes that you've killed so far. I like pudding. They are very different than the creature that's been attacking you from the the uh, the, the the vents in the wall. The oozes are just straight up bludgeoning kind of creatures where the creature in the wall is able to form claws, so on and so forth. Do we think their oh, yeah, resistances things. would be the same? You have no way to know that. Vulnerability. I feel like we should be prepared with uh, uh, slashing, piercing, Fire. bludgeoning weapons in case the uh, uh, elemental attacks don't work well. There's We're out of it. We're. Um, where Ozzy is standing, as he stair it looks like another staircase, it, it drops off and it falls, it, it collapses underneath into the pool of acid. <laughs> Let's uh, say maybe you go down there, but now it doesn't. Ghost says, I just we need that moment. And he takes out his tactical projectile pistol and he moves the bayonet from his azimuth laser pistol and reconnects it onto the tactical pistol instead. Ghost, what are you doing? Well, if your weapon is energy and it does not work on this thing, you need a weapon that you can shoot that does not do energy. So now I am transitioning this to the other weapon. Oh, I thought you were going to shoot me. Well, Josh, I couldn't recognize myself until I... How did I get turned 90 degrees? <laughs> I think you did that in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You could have done that too, by the way. You could have rectified that. I didn't recognize. I was, I was looking at myself. I was like, where am I? There six I got to admit, I have no idea how to turn my token. I clicked Click on, on it. it. There's a box at the top. There's a, oh, I see. Oh, that box at the top is covered by a green circle. Yes. But if you, you we could have directional light sources, so that could actually make a difference if we chose it to. Hmm. But we don't. Here, watch. I'll show you. There's no, actually, I don't. <laughs> how do you get to that box? I mean, it. Doesn't matter, I guess. Never mind. I'm sorry. That's all right. Okay, let's go back upstairs now. Yeah, there's nothing to see here. Oh, Moving yeah. on. Adam, look, look, I'm spinning myself around, Adam. See how it works? No. no. I'm doing. <laughs> you don't. Hey, yeah, let's... You have to like go. Hey, Chris, the Adam. I, I don't. Know. I, I've got a green. Do I have to like click it really fast? No, it's the blue. The blue thing above it. The blue thing right below the green thing. Yeah. The blue right below I the see green. a bar, but the the actual square yeah, the, bar, the, the green circle. Yeah, you gotta uh, make your screen smaller. <laughs> oh, it just happens to be just the wrong side. Yep. What Wait, the hell we... is the matter with all of you? Look at all of you turning around in circles. Are you high? What is happening to you? 
Did, did we look at 1% of that area we just peeked at? <laughs> no, we looked at 100% of it. Did we, did we look all around? There was no border. There were borders all around it. I just saw that we had the, the staircase. Down there for completely no reason. Yeah. It looks like that door to our right is the what? way to go. The whole map. There's a door to your southwest between the stair, the stairs you just came up and the stairs you originally came in from last week, and the door on the right. Okay, well, we said stay to the left. So which door is to the left? Which door are you going through? I just said the one to the Where left. Where are the stairs that we came up? I'm kind of lost on this map. I don't remember. The bottom. Like down here? Or no, we're, we're, we're left, we're left of you. Guy. Oh, these no. are stairs. Okay. Those are the stairs you came uh, in last week. So then we want to go in the door to the east. Agreed. Okay. East. Want to go to the east door then? And that drops off into another stream of the acid. It looks like you, I, I hope you can see across it. There is. See the acid. Like, you can nope. see the bronze. Can we, throw, can we toss a light over there? Sure. That's smart. You toss a light over here. Can we, can we toss a Lashinta across? No one throws it at Shinta. I think that we should throw Nala. That better? Yes. A yep. little? Ayalisi, do you not have floating lights? It's oh, still, yeah, I do. Still, it still only has so much distance. Everything is limited, remember? Yeah, they all have to stay. My lights all have to stay within a 10 foot radius of each other. And you guys can't see past 10 feet. But we can yeah, jump on. Oh. It looks I like the acid is worn. Everybody give me a physical sciences check. Again? Oh, they never actually did it before, so. Oh, three? I don't think it matters. Much. I rolled a one. I rolled a 15. Rolled a 23. Jeff, ah. Jeff, you rolled better than me. There's my natural 20. Great. <laughs> good use. Good, good use. Bob, Chris. That's every, every, way, Chris. every time. Okay, I have an 11. I don't think that's going to be helpful, but right. I'm putting it up there. So, uh, Sivian and Goat are pretty positive that the acid here has worn this away over the past. You guys, don't forget this was last occupied 19 years ago. So, this has worn, has worn itself away in the past, say, decade. And there is definitely something on the far side. Ooh. Uh, approximately, how, how far is the acid? Um, uh, I'm going to say it's about a six foot gap. Perfect. It's about, the, it's about the width of you guys, and you guys are five foot. So, jumpable. Jumpable. Except for the you guys can tie a rope around yourselves. That always works good. For you. <laughs> Somebody's. Has, it, I get a bang for that one. If if somebody had jump jets, it would be pretty easy to get over there. Oh, that's me. I have jump jets. You going? I don't want to go by myself. And could she? Could you carry anybody over? No. Okay. Ozzy could easily. Ozzy could easily throw either of the Ahsoki over. Or both, one at a time. If so, Ozzy throws Ghost first. Then I will use my jump jets. At the same time. After Ghost lands. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take a run and jump. So to run and jump, it's an athletics check. The amount of feet that you jump is equal to the DC that you have to roll for on your athletics. So if you're jumping five feet, then the DC is five. Oh. To, to, there is a limit to which you can maximally jump, but yeah. You can't make a DC 30 jump. Yes, All right, there's my there's my athletics. All right. So you jump way farther than you need to. Congratulations. Ozzy uh, steps across. Uh, Ozzy can oh, step across into it. Chris, that is where you landed. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, oh, I land away over here? After I throw you guys. Two other okay. things. Uh, d if you take a running jump, it's five. If you just try to jump from standing, the DC is doubled. It would be a 10 or greater from standing. All right, I, I'm I'm gonna wave. I'm gonna hand wave this, yes, and I'll go over there if you want to go over there. I jump across. Ah. Uh, so um, this, this shows a series of boxes and crates. This is actually uh, several computer terminals here and some other equipment. Anybody wants to give me a computer's check to try to figure out what this was? I'd like to try to hack into that with mine. It's not turned on. I'd like to try to see if I can repair it and turn it on. Let's see what it is. I'm going. I'm going to aid somebody yeah. with computers. I'll okay. aid Mikey as well. Yeah, I'll aid Mikey. I ain't got 20, 24. Woo! Aid somebody in computers. You get a plus two for me as well, so that's a plus four for Trigger. 12. Plus six. Plus six. BT's 12, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
All right, so I rolled a base 25. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but remember, you, you have a plus six from us. Let's not forget Ozzie. about that. Ozzie. Ozzie. Base 25 plus six. Yes. Did you just put your them to clear aluminum? You know what? I need to Oh, I'm just get away from the wall. You know what? I need a perception check. check. Computer. Let let no, let me finish with Ozzy. I got your Thank reference you. there, Jeff. Thank you. The voyage home. I appreciated it. Five. Five. Oh. Correct. That's what I get for not moving away from the edge. What is your KAC? Uh, a lot. <laughs> 40, 42. <laughs> Might be. Answer Good question, but like, it's not 27. It's 23. Unless you're doing a combat maneuver. 28 damage as one of the claws slices, <laughs> one, slices into your back. Ooh, Jesus. Boy. I rolled really good. Come on, I got a 10 out of D12. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Can I pass out? Is that allowed? Do you want to move away from the wall? I'm going to move away from the wall. I have four stamina points. What the uh, hell happened I'll, to you? I'll cure your stamina with... Um... No, you can't. No, you can't. It's only Josh, Josh can cheat, but we can't. How did I cheat? You got a perception check. Had you, had you made a perception check, you would have got an athletic check to go, an acrobatic check to go out of the way. Because, oh, I'm just, I'm just giving you a hard time. I know. You can signal an ally within 30 feet who has taken damage from any attack made by a significant enemy at any point after your last turn ended. You haven't had a turn. Nobody got a turn. We're not in battle. Consider it more of a trap. <laughs> <coughs> so, all right. Like I, I wanted to demonstrate to all of you how dangerous it is to stay near the walls in case you didn't learn last time. <laughs> this is not a time for jokes. Uh, uh, dude, put, that's right? why I'm in the middle. Let us put three people on watch while the other three people look at uh, investigate. Uh, Okay, trigger. Just, just stay I away from the walls. Be part of either of yeah. those. Points. Well, they're well, they're looking for ten minutes. I'm gonna take a resolve point and uh, get my stamina back. Sure. Hey, Captain, that sounds like a good plan. Uh, trigger. Yes. You're able to ascertain this is a control room. There's numerous terminals in here. It looks like it's probably the auxiliary control room, not the main control room for the base itself. In theory, if it was functional, you'd be able to provide power to areas, mm -hmm. control things. Uh, maybe there's cameras you could see stuff with. Maybe see more of the, the logs, etc. Okay. What if I transfer charge? Can I? I was gonna say, can I power up any of the one of the computers? You can try. This one's gonna be harder than the other ones. Those are more independent ones, like a PC. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But this is more like a server room. Okay. Oh, then uh, I'm gonna uh, tap into my exocortex and I'm gonna quickly read um, a how to reboot a computer uh, by Josh Kayer. Yaxian. <laughs> Yeah, I'm computer. Yeah. Um, Bob, are you going to help? I'll help. I think you extraordinaire. You got a plus um, two. I failed. Does plus he get a plus one for kissing ass? No. First, I'm going to hit control alt delete. <laughs> you got you to gotta first turn, uh, plug it in. I'll plug it. <laughs> Start with the three finger salute. That doesn't work. Go to the one finger salute. <laughs> uh, all right, so is anybody helping me or am I just rolling the computers? Plus two. Uh, ghost is assisted, so you got a plus four now. I, I have no experience with this, so I don't think I can help you. I rolled a three. All right, you need, so... He needs all the help USB direction. So a total of four, right? So 17, 17 plus 16, 35. Nice. You are able to bring on some of the base systems. You're not able to fully power, the, power everything up and control everything. I gotcha. feel that if you were in the main control, room, that would be easier. You do have access to some of the old logs that were there. You have access to... You, have, you can see functionality, but can't control it. So okay. you can see that there are ways to 
try to turn on the exhaust to pull the, the, the darkness, the, the pull the cloud, the, the, the fog out, the mist out. There may be ways to close the vents section by section. There may be, uh, you do find, um, give me a, one more computers check. This is an easy one. You, uh, you Josh, need... Just a quick note. I think he said 35, but it was really 37. 17 plus 16 plus 4. I yeah. told Jules the DC was 40. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, so this, uh, this computer's trick is a uh, 19. So you find the, you're able to find the, log, the video log of what had transpired in lab two when it went oh. back. Mm -hmm. oh, no. I don't want, like the CCTV or is this like a, yeah, a is that, is that something that I can bring up so they can see it on one of the screens or is that something I have to download and film about? Oh no, it has a holographic display. It's going to show right in the center of the room. Oh, full sure. color, I, 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 punch 3D. I punch it up and bring it up. Ghost coughs into his mouth, and you don't know how this is possible, but there's uh, popcorn, and now he begins eating popcorn watching a movie. Cheek pouch of holding. Cheek, cheek pouch of hammer space. That's right. <laughs> So Shh, we're getting to the good part. Everybody, be quiet. Punches it up. Holographic light comes on. Starts showing the room, and you can see clearly th uh, three Axian scientists. The fourth one comes in the view, comes out. There's a glass globe in the center. It's some sort of containment vessel. You recognize it as the broken containment vessel. You see them powering up. You can hear them talking in in in. In the oxygen, so you understand this if you don't, but they're applying more power. They feed the first few oozes in, and you can see them forming into one. It's kind of disturbing. It gets more volatile. It, you know, the first one just kind of sits there. The second one adds, it gets a little more volatile. By like the fifth and sixth one, it's really something big and like a bubbling cauldron of, of mess suspended in the, in the containment vessel. And then they add the seventh one. As this is happening, Lisi is snuggling closer and closer to Ghost. <laughs> this is my popcorn. Get away. I'll kill you. And as the seventh one adds into that, the entire the entire containment chamber goes black. Like you can't see what's in there. <laughs> or what is in there is entirely black. Oh. To the point it's absorbing light from within the room. The room gets visibly darker. They made the black and hole. And you, you can hear... Claws scraping the inside of the glass. You can see the crack form. You can see the scientists clamoring to do something. One of them is, looks like he's hitting a button in the background. You guess it's probably the button that would destroy what's in the in the in the globe in the in the containment. Uh, it goes off. It doesn't destroy what's in there. They're panicking. I can't, I can't buttons out of order. No, no, it was ineffective. It glass it scatters. Claws ring out. The tap, the capitating, slashing people to pieces, and the ooze just slides into the wall seconds later. I at least he throws up in Ghost's popcorn bucket. Uh, what did? What are you doing? Uh. I turn, I turn to uh, anybody who look at me and be like, "Damn it! Even in the future, nothing works." <laughs> did somebody just break something? What, you were watching the video? They broke the containment unit. That is what oh. we just saw. That was the, that was the glass smashing of the containment unit? Yes. Actually, I, I did leave out one detail. You were able to see the... Hold on a second. I have the prop here. Oh, the, the you were able to see... We can see you very well in the dark. Oh, that we can see, yeah. You were able to see this, and it was clearly powering the experiment, mm. and the creature absorbed it. On the way out, oh, like stuck it into its body. This is bad. Yeah, we knew that, didn't we? Probably learned that last week. Sorry, we didn't know it was inside it. Maybe okay. I, I think, we I think sort of kind of assumed confirming it, right? So I think I think now that just confirms for sure that the creature has absorbed it into itself. So so the what we should about it in, in his logs, I think. Oh yeah. So so what we should do is we should get try to clear the mist and put lights into one area. And then lure the creature there and set up a trap. That is How a good idea. I, like this. Like that. I think. I think to do that, I, 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 we, we, we have to find the main main control room for me to to, to access the computer systems. This the, the, this room won't won't let us do that. 
Can, can you find the schematics? Uh, we can, um, yeah, we can search the wall. I was walking quickly just to make sure we were had to actually scouted this whole area. And look, I'm back where I was, away from the wall. Josh, is there is there any in any of the computers we've accessed so far? Have we found any maps or schematics of the layout of this facility yet? Well, a you didn't ask, so no, you <laughs> haven't found it yet. <laughs> now that you are asking, give me a computer check. Okay. Always aid. Roll it up. Are you in for fifteen? Do I need? Do I need anything below a DC thirteen? No, you need more than thirteen. Okay, because that's my base plus. So you got a plus two from uh, the captain. You got a plus two from Ghost. That's four. Plus two from Ilyse. Six. Okay. So I have DC one 19. skill at thirteen. <laughs> All right, you're you're you're. What do you got, my <laughs> Troll twenty. Um, nineteen. <laughs> nineteen plus thirteen plus six. You could have used that before. I thought you got a nineteen total. <laughs> no, no, no. How do I do this? I, I want to show you, Adam. To do that, I would have literally had to roll a one. <laughs> because my, because with their pluses, my my base was no, oh, with their base, yeah. Base was a nineteen with theirs because they, I have a thirteen plus their six. And we all know Mike's dice have no ones. But keep in they mind, do. for a skill check, a one is not an uh, automatic failure, and a twenty mm. is not an automatic success, right? That is correct. correct. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something here, and I think this is actually a fairly appropriate solution. Back to here. Back. You're gonna you're gonna download the, the schematics into my exocortex. Oh, hold on a second. Where is it? I know that sounds very sexual, but <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I think I read that novel. That was uh, Gibson, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or it might have been from Barbarella. <laughs> <laughs> Joel has no idea what I just said. Nope. And I'm okay with it staying that way. Uh, me too. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Okay. Let me make sure I'm on the right layer here. Which I'm not. That the background. Yeah, we've seen the background before. By the way, the initiative button in the top left-hand corner, is that only visible to me, or do you guys have one as well? Top left-hand corner of what? Of your Roll20 screen. I don't have it on either of mine. Uh, I do not see the initiative button. There is no initiative button. I have a rogue initiative macro button that has appeared. Oh, actually, I have one called Ozzy-init, but it's in the lower left. Gotcha. Uh, I don't have one of those either. Nope. It's just still left out. I'm, bu I'm buttonless. All right, so you are able to get a map that I'm going to show you, but I'm not going to display it for you all the time. So, boom, you're able to download that map. Be able to see that map. Is that really oh, okay, so nice. No, oh, it's not blurry for me. It just cleared up. But when you guys start moving, you don't get the map. Right, right. No, that's cool. I dig it. That's really Mike, well, bad. Well, let's, let's take a look. Wow. Boy, babe. I'm zoomed out to 10%. <laughs> Whew. And I just see it all. That's a oh, hell of a map. Mother oh. of God. Have we figured oh out God. where we want to go? Yeah, I was going to say, uh, go, uh, you guys are trigger. Where is the main control room? So you guys are right right here. Can you see my, my, my circle? I see it. It's the, very small. In the top right. All right. Where did we start? You started. Oh god, I, I can't. I can barely scroll. The map is, is so big. You started down here in the bottom left. Oh wow! We don't wow. Know. So we must be going bottom right then, or what? So where, this where? this circle, this giant circle here, mm -hmm. is is the main power reactor. You're gonna have to bring that on to operate the facility. The, the big one down the middle. If you guys are right there, you guys are right there. If you had gone here, you would have gone right down. You can't see where. If you had gone into this room, 
This was the first hallway you were in right here? Yeah, if we had- oh, we decided to go left instead of right. <laughs> you would've gone down to the power room. The, oh God, he keeps scrolling off, to, he wants to keep scrolling off the screen for me. The main control room. It's easy to go back. We, I mean, we already know that way, right? So. So you can give yourself some breadcrumbs for that. You have some of the lights. You can we do have some more. of the glow sticks. Uh, the main control room is over here in the top left. So that's where we need. So do we need to go to the control room, or do we need to go to get the get the power back on? No, we need to get the power back on first. Can you ping the control room again? Top left. I would think we would split the party then. And we were there. Go. No, you weren't. You were here, and here, and here. Oh, I'm looking at. That's. I could have sworn we went up around that kind of curve in the left. Somebody went, all those dead ends, I thought. Somebody went up there and got attacked and came back down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I remember the room now. Yep, 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 yep. Guys, this is a fantastic map. That is a really cool map. I, I, I know I searched for only about an hour before I found this one. Ooh. Oh, I think I'm confusing it with uh, with this area, like the area below that, that little spur that sticks out. Okay, on the left, it looks like a... I well, I won't say what it looks like. Florida. I tried to draw a rectangle around the, the main control room. Did that work? Yes, yes. but the line is so thin you can barely see it. Yeah, I know. I can't fix that part. Sure you can. I can't fix Zoom it. in. Well, thanks. <laughs> Under, so, instead of regular? So it, it sounds like we need to get the power back up and then get to the main control room. All right. From well, the main control room, then we can start controlling the the stuff within the facility. All right. Uh, trigger, stay behind me. I'll lead. Tell me if I'm turning right or left. Let's keep away from the walls and keep quiet, folks. All right. So what, I'll, what I will do, I will give you the benefit of... Oh, okay. Bye-bye now. <laughs> you think I made this easy on you. I drew all over it. Now I have to zoom back in because I zoomed out to 10%. I drew the same thing. <laughs> I know. Start controlling everybody. We're all I will, I will give you the benefit of moving you back to lab one. As you would explore those, and it was basically a straight shot back to the left. Is that satisfactory? Okay, cool. Where is that in relation to lab two? Because I found lab two. It's just to the left of lab two. Can you do oh. the uh, shift click yeah, thing and, re and refocus us, Josh, if you don't mind? I just did it, yeah. I was just uh, doing thank it. Thank you. It seems so like we, a... need to go, we need to go south. I was going to say, if, if Trigger has the map in front of him, he should be able to read the map while we walk, right? Yeah, if it's in his exocortex. I Can can't we grab our, uh, our Actually, light sticks with. Wait a second. Email him a screenshot. Wait a second. I don't need to email him a screenshot. Make it a roll 20 pop. It is possible to... Can I pee while you figure that out? Yes. Paste it into the drum. No, better. Nobody wanted to draw this on a, on a piece of paper? <laughs> <laughs> I am happy to not have graph paper for this. I nope. did uh, actually do a print screen. Uh, so Let's Step away for a moment. I'll be right back. There was a way to move a character. Oh, let me move out. I'm in the lead. Bob, there's a way to move a character from one page to another. So he actually goes on to a different page. Yeah, if you um, if you click on the character and then you control copy or control X to cut, it'll remove them from page one and then paste, and then that'll transition them into page two. So control X, control V, or right click cut, and then right click paste. No, it won't let me paste in there. Did you control Ooh. X so it disappeared yeah. from the previous? I'm going to cut him right now. No, I can't cut him. I can only copy him. Hmm. Well, copying was a way to do it. Purpose, right? I don't remember how to do it, but there's a way to do it. Oh, because that, that way Mikey could see the map and try to walk you guys through it. Oh. All right. Well, I can, I, you know what? I'll just send him a screenshot. Are you emailing it, or are you going uh, through chat? I am going to email it to you. 
Okay. Oh, uh, Josh, you can click and drag it to move it between pages. So you click on the character, bring it up to the top, drag it over to the new page, and let go. This will be this will be better because then he won't be off the screen. Sure. Agree. Let me make sure I got the right one here. Is Trigger coming with us, or is he staying in the room? Oh, he's coming with. But now he'll have to—he'll be able to walk you through it because he'll see the map in his exocortex, but you guys won't be able to see the map. Perfect. Okay. All right, Mikey, you got it. So, on Mikey, uh, you should open it up on your phone and then tape your phone to your wrist, and then like <laughs> hold it up like this, and then you can like go down. You know, like mm, there it is. Mm. <laughs> Adam and Jules both ran to the restroom, so wait a second. That's right, I haven't gotten the email yet, so. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for a, uh, a slow-paced sci-fi, uh, Tales from the Loop on Amazon Prime. It's really slow-paced, but kind of quirky. And another sci-fi that involves kind of time travel, Coherence. Not a bad one. It also stars... The guy who played Xander from Buffy. Bob does love his time travel. Mm. I was just thinking that. And you know Xander is a major drug addict. I know. He's oh yeah, he's had run into, He's had a lot of problems. He's been arrested yep. at hotel rooms and stuff. Yeah. You know? He's got a he's got a demon inside him. Some would say. Hey yes. oh. Well, well you know he was making it with all the demon chicks. Sixty yep. days till peace talks, guys. Sixty days. That's it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to open this and go get a copy. I was uh, very excited. Like seven months ago, I read the first three, and then I stopped. I gotta get back and because I forgot so much. It's like a fever dream when I read all those back to back. That's because you're reading my crack. <laughs> well, I was yeah. I was on flights to and from uh, oh, Australia for work, I think, and so I would burn through two books on one leg. I don't know if I could do that. Like, I know that there's not much else to do, but like, oh. I'd have to mix it up, I think. When you have no choice, you, cool. well, I don't know you get there. used to it. True. All okay. right, so I got it. It's very dark, but I got it. It is a dark map. There's not much I can do about it. Yeah, no, no, that's what I said. I, it's just... Uh, you just got to zoom in a lot. Yeah. All right, you know where you are on it? Uh, I do. All right. So, I drew a box where we were too, where we were before, right. and then you moved us. So we're in left box. Where we yeah. got the doorway right there. Yes. Look, listen, feel. Do you need a perception check? You've already been in this room, so no. Okay. I think we should. Do a Wait, should we all do that whole group thing where somebody moves the whole group? That's a good. It's idea. not going to work through the tunnels, though. That's a problem. Well, we could spread ourselves at the tunnels, but in the meantime, we can. I can move Mikey because he's going to be. I'll be basically holding his hand. Which oh, one's okay. which? If you don't mind doing that, Adam. Yeah. Little mousy hands. Which, uh, which mouse is which? Do you have goggles or no goggles? I you have goggles. I have the goggles. All right. Of course, the mechanic has the goggles. Yeah, I should have known. All right, Alicia, Nala, Ghost, you guys joining them? Going. All right. Uh, what do we do in this big room with the big fire in the middle, Mike? Okay, I mean, so I, it's really hard to see on the map. So I believe the door is. Uh, can you guys want some glow sticks in here? South. South? Yeah, go south. Uh, yeah. South in re in relation to the glowy thing, to the fire. Yeah. It looks like a yeah. it looks like a goblet of fire. Right, yeah, southwest. So direction direction that uh, Vivian and and I Alicia are going. That's where we need to go. And yeah, then I want to be in the front. Uh, then from there, stay away from the wall. You guys are really bad at following instructions. <laughs> Seriously, Sivian is just running off. <laughs> I see that. I'm just I'm trying to move my map around. I'm so zoomed in, like if I don't yeah. click just right. And it, have so, you noticed there's a roughly, lag on the zoom right now? Right around there, we're gonna head due south. Due oh, south, got it. Yep, right you, there. You guys came in from the left last time, from the west. Now you're going south. It does connect. Did you say it doesn't connect? It does. And all the time we're look listening, feeling, 
treading staying away from the walls <laughs> using stealth you know the use looks like we're coming up on a big room now okay yeah, we're no, no, no we're at a t intersection stop, stop moving oh no ghost put yourself back where you were i Ghost, put yourself back where you were. Uh, trying to. It's, it's kind of lagging on me. As the characters are coming down the hallway, uh, you would need to turn to the right, I believe. All right. Ghost has just disappeared from view for a second. No, I was up here. It's fine. Ghost has still disappeared from view. You shouldn't be able to see him. Oh, okay. Ghost, blackness. Seeps out of the wall right next to you, right in front of you, next to you. Oh, you can't no. right in front of you any longer. Ghost. Roll initiative. Okay. Everybody Just ghost. Just ghost. This is a hit and run. Sixteen point five. All right. I rolled a nine. My bonus is six, so I have a fifteen. So you you actually strike before the creature does. That's unfair. The creature moves in on his turn. Ghost notice it strikes, and then the creature can go. I guess. Uh, okay, he'll uh, he'll use his new uh, bayonet and stab at it with a trick attack. And he also shouts on the comms. It's right here! It's right here! You guys can hear him, but you can't see him anymore. Ghost! You Ghost! Where did you go? Uh, so on the trick attack, if the CR of the creature is 18 or less, he successfully trick attacks. You roll a natural 20? Only only on the stealth part of the trick attack. So I still have to roll the attack. But first, you just have to tell me, is the CR of the creature 18 or less? Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. Because when I looked up trick, trick attack, I was trying to learn this a little bit. Mm -hmm. You have to make a bluff intimidate or stealth check. Correct. With a DC equal to 20 plus your target CR. Correct. So what I've rolled is a natural 20. My bonus is 18. I subtract the 20, uh, which is the, t the baseline 20. So now the only question is compare the remainder against the CR of the target. So if the creature's CR is 18 or less, then I have successfully had a, a trick. So the stealth part is now successful. And now okay. I try to roll the attack. Okay. Uh, which is with the bayonet. Uh, I have to look up if the bayonet is a 1d4 or a 1d6. We'll say 1d4. It's, it, no, it's, it's, it's your, the bayonet just allows you to use your dagger, your your survival knife. Oh, okay. Whatever that is. So, the attack with the survival knife is a 13. Uh, but he is uh, off kilter because of the sneak attack, so he's got an AC minus 2. So, does 13 against AC minus 2 kinetic hit your your blade enters the the, the 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 blackness in front of you, you can you can you can't even make out exactly what it is mm. and seems to pass harmlessly through it oh. at the same time a series of claws come out at you wait he's he's uh, the remainder of his trick attack is a movement he takes a guarded step it's gonna be garbage in no time. do we see the knife on the other side no you just see the, the tunnels through darkness oh actually you know what uh, I take that back. He's not going to take a guarded step backwards. He's going to run to be with the rest of the party, or move, use his move, uh, 40 feet. Okay, it's really going to center off for next year. And he moves the 40 feet the party. You, you can't move through it. It's, it's still in the hallway. Oh, then he moves 40 feet backwards. All right, further away. Uh-huh. you run, or do you take your guarded step? Uh, he is an operative, and at this level, the target of a sneak attack, if he's successful, uh, is not allowed to make an attack of opportunity. So he made a sneak attack against, a trick attack against this guy, so he can walk away without getting hit. So he's going to not run, because uh, it's a full attack, but he can move his full 30, 40 feet. All right. So this creature is based on an operative. It has the same movement you have. I will share this with you when this game, when this is over. This thing is brutal. Uh, so it makes the same move you have. It has quick movement plus 10 plus its regular movement. Mm -hmm. um, so it is it is back to in front of you. You still completely an amorphous blob that you can't make out. A claw comes out. So I need to make my trick attack roll. Okay. That's why you had to understand trick attack. 11 
plus. Uh, where is my trick attack bonus? How do I turn my trick attack bonus spell? Is it based on stealth? I assume it is. It is based on stealth. So yeah, so 32. Yep, I think that's going to be... Oh, well, let's confirm, though. So 32 minus 20 uh, is a 12. Is my level less than 12? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so your stealth part of your trick attack is successful. Now you have a choice. Assuming that you are level 4 or greater, you can either make my AC 2 less, or you can put me at minus 2 on my attacks. Um... I just want the extra damage, so it'll be minus two on your attacks. Uh, you, you're more likely to hit me if you make my AC two less, but but you're yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay, I'll make your AC two less. Okay, so okay. now yeah. you roll your uh, actual attack. Yes. So twelve. Now that, we know why you're trying to learn all this stuff. Is mm -hmm. it kinetic or EAC? It is EAC. Okay, my and it is thirty. A 30 will hit my EAC, which is minus 2. So my EAC is currently a 17. It is a hit. So damage is uh, 2 plus 8 is 10. Oof. Now for the... Oh, no. Now I get my um, additional damage for... Trick attack. Uh, trick attack. Can I fight the darkness? Ooh. It's moved away. It's, he's it's, a it's, better it's, operative than I am. 16 points of damage, huh? He's a CRA creature. So all of my stamina is gone, and my hit points are down to 18. Oh, and you have bleed 8. And I have bleed 8. Oof. Bleeding shot, bleed damage is operative level. For some reason, I don't think we're meant to kill this thing. I don't, I don't know. You're supposed to use your brain to kill this thing. Go ahead and take your shot at it. If we try to fight this, we're not coming out of it. Uh, I, I have my turn. Is there another turn? Or now they get to go. Everyone else gets to go, yeah? Uh, everybody else can move to it to intercept it if they want. <laughs> was, there, was there a sound? Yeah, I shouted. Away from it. Oh, okay. shouted. The glow sticks are in the null space chamber, right, guys? I assume you all have them. Okay. I run up there. We see. Runs up there. Why I'm am ran, I a black wall? Oh, I, I gotta move, remove the wall. I gotta move the wall. Hold on a second. Hold on. I want to see if I can do that. I want to try this. Draw me a shape. <coughs> so there should be. Bob, um, did you just lose some of your vision to your immediate south? I did. Yes. So that's where the creature is. Okay. Ozzy, you, if for you guys to make that distance, it is your entire turn. Because you you have to do a double move to get up there. Okay. okay. Well, how far can I throw a glow stick? You can throw a glow stick as part of your move. Yeah, what if I run and throw? Yes, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to do that. I want to end like right here. -ish. I just want to point out though, uh, you charging is a full action. It allows you to move up to double your speed and make a melee attack at the end of the movement. And you can draw a weapon during a charge attack if your base attack bonus is at least plus one, which everybody's is. I don't know if we would know what to attack until we ran into it. I mean, I, I may have told Jeff like I touch it, but I'm going at full speed. So Ozzy, you get up there and you see you you see the the black amorphous thing in front of you. Uh, well, I at least he throws her her light stick up there. I don't want no. I want to throw it into the darkness. It disappears. It bounces off the darkness and drops where it is. Okay. So there is something in there. Um, trigger. Um. Trigger. Trigger makes his move. His regular move. Um, he, uh, well, I guess, actually, no. So he's going to do the charge attack, uh, with his infernal knife. All right, so there's only room for two people to charge up there. So recognize that once you do that, you and, and Ozzy are occupying those spaces. The only other, pe the other people have to uh, work from a distance. Yeah, they'll live. So that'll be Sivian and Nala. No problem. Okay, that's fine. 
And the distance fighters. Anyway. All right, so go ahead and make your attack. Just keep in mind it has a minus two AC until the start of my next turn. So that benefit is conferred to everybody in the party. So as, as I'm kind of running up to it and perhaps into it, I'm shouting, Ghost! Ghost, are you... Ghost, I can't see you! Of course you um, cannot. It is the same thing that killed you before. It, I'm on the other side of it. Ozzy, did you mind make a, a charge attack, or you just ran up there? Um, I, if I could see something to attack, I would have attacked it. I, I don't you know if we the, you see a black amorphous blob. You see the darkness. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna, yeah. I'll let you. I'll let you take a whip at it, and then we'll come back to Mikey. We can go, we can do Mikey now because he's already go. Okay, go ahead, Mikey. Uh, tw twenty three to hit it. 23 against uh, K, uh, KAC. KAC. Where is KAC? Hey, congratulations, you hit it. Awesome. Woo uh, he does six points of damage with his Inferno Knife. Piercing damage. Okay. Mm, Where's my wheel? Hold on. Where did my Inferno oh, go? I guess, and. Uh, yeah. Did I forget to save? Damn, I'm my inferno knife again. Attack, attack, last if you're when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Thank you. You said it's got a minus two eight. I'll, 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 I'll let Josh do that. And, oh, there's your, your numbers just showed up. KAC is going to be a hit. 28. Yeah, that is a hit. I'd be disappointed if it wasn't a hit. <laughs> uh, 15 slash damage. Uh, that will deal the damage. That will deal some damage, but not full. All right. Uh, Nala. Alright, for my order, uh, 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 ghost in a, uh, inspiring boost. Oh. It says, you can signal an ally within 30 feet who has taken damage from any attack made by a significant enemy at any point. I'll give you the distance. So, sure, give your inspiring boost to ghost. Alright. As I use my attack lash, I, I yell, back, back, foul beast. No, don't tell him. Back, he's right in front of me. Ah! <laughs> uh, how much is the inspiring boost uh, provide? It is twelve. Wow, that's great. Hey, Sivian. Uh, can I can I do a sense motive, perhaps check on this? You, from what you've seen so far. Inu Inu's has no intellect, no motive, no brain. Okay. Uh, so you, like your mind thrust would be ineffective against it. Trying to sense motive would probably be ineffective against it. I mean, this is clearly different than the oozes you had seen. Maybe it's a super ooze, but oh. I don't know. You know, you it does it. It may be acting on pure inst instinct in the way it's attacking. Gotcha. Almost uh, lizard brainish. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, laser pistol it, perhaps. All right. Uh, let's see where my laser pistol is. Mm, sword, days, sound, telehand, mind thrust, cure, intelligence. Were we able to determine if uh, Trigger's attack um, was partially shut off? Um, both of your attacks were only partially effective. So slashing and uh, <laughs> kinetic. Hmm. That was a lens pistol, by the way, sorry. Yes, you, you shoot into the darkness of it. Maybe it's absorbing absorbing the light where the bullet goes through. Or I'm assuming in this case, uh, I don't know if it's a laser or a, it's his fire, so I'm assuming it's laser. Yeah, it's a uh, lens. Yep. Yes. It does no damage to the creature as it misses, and the creature disappears into a vent in the wall. Mm -hmm. oh. Guys, I, I did it! You did nothing! It's, it's gone! You had a chance to kill it, and now it's Gone. No, it's man, we don't. We, we don't want to kill it. We just want it to disappear. I did it. No, we want to kill it. We have to get the magic piece so that we can go home. 
Ghost stumbles to the ground, bleeding five points of damage. Ghost! Uh, just to confirm, that was from debilitating shot. The operative power, right, Josh? It was from... I'm trying to think here. Yeah, bleeding shot. Bleeding shot. So we have to see if bleeding shot uh, only lasts until the start of the next round, or does it keep on going? Uh, we just look at bleed damage. I'm on it. Okay. I think you need to heal an HP to prevent to stop bleed damage. Um, no, it's part of debilitating trick. So debilitating trick, I think, ends at the start of the bad guy's first turn instead of providing bleeding damage. Okay. Uh, ongoing bleeding damage. All right. So you'll take the eight and be done with it. Or right, take the five and be done with it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how bad you hurt, man? He looks pretty rough. He's uh, he's bleeding. Uh, he's bloodied. His stamina is down to five from twenty-eight, and his hit points are eighteen out of twenty-four. All right, I got a little something. I got a little something for that. Everybody, stay together. I I need Ghost a moment. Rabbit. I, it came out of the wall just like you, except I am not a big, strong man like you. Ghost, Ghost, you can't die. We already talked about this. You're my best friend. Uh, we could also do a. We could also do a. Friends are not to die. Uh, I forbid it. it. <laughs> uh, if any of you have medicine skill. That, I, I do. That I would do. probably be better than using up Sivian's cool powers. I yeah. Suspect. How about how about we try to stop the bleed first? Uh, yeah. One. Uh, DC it, fifteen. The bleed. Uh, th it, because of the power of the creature, it's an operative power. You only bleed for one round, and then it stops automatically. Oh. Oh. Okay. But it could still use your medicine skills to heal a couple of points. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I rolled a, a total medicine skill of twenty. So I will help him. I will help him with a fifteen on medicine. So the deal, if you have a standard med kit, oh, the twenty. The the DC is twenty five with a standard med kit, and then if you hit twenty five, you heal them for your. I gotta check, but you heal them for a small amount of hit points, and for every five points over the twenty five, you you do additional stuff. So if anybody else can help. Uh, I could just put my hands on you and heal your hit points. It's only six hit points, though. Is it worth it, buddy? Probably not. Do you have medicine but skill? I, have, uh, I can also whack you. I in don't. The heart. I, I don't can whack so. you a plus two, so. And a plus two I for my Lisi. So he's at plus four, but he rolled a twenty. So twenty-four won't quite be enough, sadly. Unless we somehow magically twisted that might give me a plus two. Oh yeah, I do have I do have medicine. Hold on, I have medicine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Baby Kitty, you are not a book. Why are you on the bookshelf? Look at her. That's it. Only a ten. That's ten or greater to succeed. That's all we need. Oh. So you have just given him a plus six. So his DC is twenty six. You heal one hit point per level of. The creature that you are treating so uh you have just healed me uh my level four points of damage <coughs> which is perfect that takes me from 18 to 22 and now i'm only yeah, down two hit points that, Jeff. and i spend 10 minutes i blow a resolve point and i get my stamina back and now i'm pretty good i, I do have healing touch where i all i have to do is touch you and i heal you five hit points for every level See, that's... But how many times do you get to do that? Once. Yeah. See, save yeah. that. We're going to need that. That's like 20 uh, hit points. That's like if we've got somebody who's knocked to zero. All right. That saves lives. This is saving scrapes. Hey, what do you think? Trigger, do you think this is going to scar right here? Do you think I am going to get a scar from where he slashed me? Ghost. G -g Ghost. W w what have I always told you? Chicks dig scars. Chicks dig scars. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, all right. Don't that heal this. Totally Don't heal this. Leave that be. Oh, Don't. Ayalisi is already looking at you like she likes it. No, she just wants the popcorn. That is all. You didn't get back here. Wait, 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 wait. She puked in the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, think... what's over here, guys? Dude, this is Dude, so good. Too bad here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Some so 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 somebody put so somebody put a leash on the bug. <laughs> I think we need to put a leash on Trigger or a Ghost. What do you mean? I was right behind you. <laughs> Do you guys not remember what happened last time we left Ghost back there alone? Hurry up, Ghost! Like two minutes ago. Okay, so I think we need to go. So if we're looking at the right, so East. south, south again. Way? No. No. Oh. <laughs> that way. Okay. Tr ghost, move up. That creature is sneaky. It is intelligent, I think. Man, if we, if you're zoomed in too far and you got to scroll, like, hang on, I'm scrolling and I can't move when I'm scrolling. I'm at seventy four percent. That seems to work okay for me to see you guys. Yeah, I have it at two hundred nineteen because I need to be able to see the walls so you can stay away from them. <laughs> I'm at a hundred. I just went to eighty. And then we need to go south again. Go turning south. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey no, 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 not, not into the hallway. Yeah, now <laughs> south. Right here. Yes. Or is that another hole? I'm <laughs> sure. No, at some point we need to start going right. <laughs> you found a way to go south. Right, going left. I Keep am going. <laughs> Listen, hey. I'm going to tell you this map that Josh sent me is not. At all easy to look at. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to go to the top of the map. No, no, no. We got to go turn on the power source first. Yeah, I thought that was where the square was, where at least he squared it up. No, no that's, that's, that's that is the main control room at the at the north. The power is in the south at the big circle. We need to go Over to the here? power first. Trigger Stick together, guys. Here. Yes, keep going. No, hold. It, it, uh, now hold. Hey, Mikey, do you have a second guy. computer you could look at that on? What, what's that? Do you have a second computer you could look at that on so you have a bigger screen to look at it on? Yeah, I just pulled it up, but it's it's even darker on the computer than it was on the... All right, so that door to your immediate south, do you guys recognize there's a light there? This is the door where you came in. There's a dead body there on your left. Oh, the one we could have thrown in the pit of acid. So the, the, the quarters, the original quarters where you fought the first ooze are directly on the other side of that door. Oh. All right, uh, so we need to continue over. right here. Right, so we need to go right there. Southeast. Yeah. Hey, three guard. St stick together, guys. And then when we get uh, down at the way, go, keep going straight. You're going to come into a wall, and you should be left. What are you doing back there, Captain? You'll get attacked by something. Get on ahead. <laughs> what is the matter with Just you? Just FYI, for purposes of navigating the map, I'm losing my stutter. <laughs> uh, Trigger, I am thinking the next time that we upgrade our ship, stop. let us get the transport. Right, Lucy, give me a perception check. No, 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 I didn't yeah, really yeah, want yeah, to yeah, be yeah, that yeah. far ahead. Give me a perception check. Please, no. Perception check. No. This is an attack from the wall. This is not an attack from a person. No, I don't want to be attacked from the wall. This is the wall. It's a less damaging attack. But yeah, I, only, I only got hit for like 28. 24. All right. I perceive. So now you get an acrobatics check to avoid it? I perceive it. I perceive it. I also I said you want to go to the left, not right, Eileen. Oh, I acrobat it. Oh, there's a door here? Yeah. Oh, it's hard to um, the door. That's why. That's a 60. Okay, so 18. All right. Do, so do I acrobat it? You, you avoid the claw that comes out of the wall. <laughs> That's a claw! You Stay away from the walls and also turn around. We're going north. You're going through that door? That's, that is that's yeah. where we're going? We need to go through that door. Hey, what is the matter with you? Why are you freaking out right now? Because I almost got it. Well, let me see that's your hands. Show me your hands. What the heck is happening with my stupid thing? My hand? Why, why do you see my hands? Show me your hands. Well, okay. Do you see the problem? I see the problem. What's the problem? You have no weapon in your hands. You have to put weapons in your hands. I have spells. That is not good enough. You do spells and weapons in your hands. 
That is how you kill creatures. But then I cannot direct the spells. I think you can. Practice. It's easier with my hands. All right, I'm going to assume you guys are dropping a Can somebody a move me, please? I'm having issues. I'm okay. assuming you guys are going to drop a light stick here. Yes. Anybody look what's in the feeling at this door, or am I just busting through? We're doing it at every single door. That's our default. Yeah. The new door, so we are definitely doing that. We have not gone this way yet. Okay. All right. Captain shows nothing in there. In your best guess. Okay, so then you kick open the door. All right. Let's push it open and walk through. Yes, or there there is some sort of automatic light that turns on when you walk in, Ozzy. It must detect your life sign. Okay. How convenient. Okay, we want to go to the right. What the? Hey, guys, come through. The, come into the room. What is this room? It looks like this is another lab, a uh, lesser used one. There's where it looks like sta there's, it looks like there's five statues, three across the top and two across the bottom. Those are some sort of stasis tubes with uh, that have been failed. There are were creatures in there. Oh, ghost! Make me a perception check. Wandering off. Twenty-three. All right, you 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 see it coming this time, almost like you were taunting it, and the, and the claw comes racing through the wall. And you you definitely avoid it. You will have to be faster than that. Ghost, don't taunt the claw in the wall. What the heck? What, do you what mean? is it? I can't move myself. The way I want to move myself. Every time I try to move myself, it moves me in the opposite direction. So you're over here. Ain't around. What? You broke up. Doesn't matter. So keep, keep going. We got to find the door. The door will be on our right hand side. Do you guys want to drop a couple light sticks in here? Yes. Yes. Uh, let's, search... drop one over. let's drop one over where we are or whatever. Can we search There's the room? One, our door. Is there anything of value in the room? Uh, there's some some scientific ex uh, equipment. It's dated, but nothing that you guys would actually make use of. You can, you, if you want to spend some time, there is a terminal here. You might find some more additional log entries, but it's unlikely. Since you think you, you know everything you need to know. So I think that comes from Josh saying, "Don't bother." So we'll move on. Uh, somebody with better perception than me, listen at the door. There I is a. Uh, Somebody move me, please. I'm on top of the light. I got you. <laughs> there is a staircase here. Looks like there's rubble at the bottom. Off to your right. Okay, that's not where we're going, so it doesn't matter. I know. I'm just showing. <laughs> I'm telling everybody else. All right. Jules, why are you unable to move? Every time I try to move, it just screws up. So it moves me in the opposite direction. All right. You got to hold your mouse the other way. Hold your mouse upside down. Does yeah, what if you put your mouse upside down? Come on, let me move this. Try to reconnect the control, funny. Yeah, right, so I don't want to have to do that. Right? Set, mm -hmm. uh, oh, perception, yeah. I mean, I can accept oh, but my perception. Just freaking light up here. Oh, do you need perception from all of us? No, I don't need any perception. I'm I'm trying to delete the door the door blocker. Somebody else may want to perceive I rolled a twelve. I get an what? eighteen. Uh twenty. Uh twenty. Alright, you you don't hear anything. Right, you don't feel any tremors or anything. Okay, so what? We're going to go straight, and then the passageway is going to turn to the left. Right. I tried to get close to the stairs, and I ended up over there. Oh. That's what happens. just happened? I just lost you. Did you drop off tools? No. No, I just I ended up dropping Sivian on top of you. By accident. There we are. Tools, have you right clicked on your, on your name? I squashed you like a bug. I just reset you as a player. What was that? Don't know. All right, I will. I will just hand wave the movement here, since you guys are working very hard to stay to the center, and Jules is having issues. Well, 
All right. And I will, if you want, I can move you as a group or you can move. You guys can move. You want to move you as a group? Yeah, sure. I think that sounds, makes sense. All right. You could just put us in the power room. We could. You know. You've made it down to here. You might need There's to shift, cliff, shift click to uh, set us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where we are. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. you. These these six pillars are actually some sort of reactor uh, core kind of thing. Where they, you can see there's supposed to be tubes going through it, kind of like a warp core in Star Trek. Do 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 do. Let's put some right uh, some, some uh, lights here, glow sticks. All right. I wonder if I could give you guys this ability. What I actually what I can I do. Love to abuse that ability. What was that? Please do. I would love to abuse that ability. <laughs> Can you move that, Adam? I gotta zoom in so I can actually click on it. It is interesting. No. If you can figure out how to allow us to move it, you can allow Ayalisi to control her dancing lights for future games. Can I move that? Uh, ah, and can be edited and controlled by all players. Mm -hmm. Same changes. Cool. I don't know if you'll be, I'm going to delete that one and put a new one there that you might be able to actually control. All right. Now I have to give it light. Cause I have to do that yeah, let's time. make the lights dead. Can you see it and move it now? Yep. Yep. We can handle that. Yep, I can move it once it's there. Hey, I'll drop a few in here and you guys can place them where you'd like. We need we we, we need to, to, to turn on this power core, and then we need to, to, to go back to, to the main control room. So you need to go. Is this a door? Th there is a door to your to your east. That is where the main power generation happens. Consider these consider these six items distribution nodes, and the actual generate core generators, and beyond that door, Mikey. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, on the map, I can't see anything but the actual circle outline of this area. Right, so you need to get into that circle outline. Yeah, and then inside that circle outline, I see absolutely nothing the map you gave me. So there isn't much to see until you get in there. Okay, we need to go through the door. You need to go through the door. We need to go through the door. Okay, Ozzy can go first. Uh, can somebody 20, move me? A 23 perception, just listening at the door. Uh, you do not hear anything because he's stealthy. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, use my blind sense once the door's open. Oh well, okay. no, never mind. You, uh, you already said that. You calculated that in. I open the door. There is, uh, it's, a, it's a hugely dark room. There is a, you don't see it, but off onto the left. There is a uh, control panel set up for, act for activating uh, and controlling the reaction in here. Remember to stay close. Once we get in, Ozzy and I will move over to the control panel. All right. Yeah, there is no. Con uh, let me see if I can find a quick one for you here. Are you just going to find the control panel to paste in there now? Is it how we always fly? <laughs> I didn't want it to be a character. Wrong level. All righty. Hey, I can move freely again. Right, I reloaded right. the page instead of reconnecting, and now I can move myself. Uh, all right, you guys throw a, your lighter in here, and you have some light, and you can now see the control panel. Yep. Nope. Um, looks very spacey. If you zoom in on it, it's actually pretty dark. as bad as I thought. I'm assuming it's pretty darky. This is, you know. Ghost has triggers back. I'm going where Ghost going. I think I, we should all just stick together. <laughs> <laughs> Never split the party. 
All right, so you're gonna uh, it's gonna take uh, three successfully com successful computer checks to reactivate this. Okay, Actually, I will it's help. It's gonna require, will... it's gonna require an engineering and then two computers, and they will get progressively harder. I can assist on all of those. All I right. will assist by keeping an eye out for danger. <laughs> no, Robinson. Just so you know, my, my engineering and my computers are both a base thirteen. No. Okay, you need your engineering check first. So engineering first? Yes, DC. Oh. Who has the Tell them. We'll best engineer? I've played. We'll give you some assistance on engineering trigger. Uh, you get a plus okay. two from Ghost. Okay, plus two. Plus four. Anyone else? I have plus two. Okay. So your engineering total is thirty one. Plus all the pluses? Yep. All right, so that you easily reconnect the, the pieces that have rotted with age or gone bad or been disconnected. And now you need to activate the computer system, so that's a computer check. Anybody who needs your help is welcome to help. I assist. Uh, I assist as well. Before we do that, Jeff had a good point. Who actually has the best computers? Is that still Ghost? Uh, trigger? Ghost? Trigger? Trigger. It's got to be Trigger. Or it might be okay. Ielisi between you two. I at least what's your uh, my computer's is nine. Oh, never mind. So you're all assisting ghost. That trigger. Yes, one of them. They all look the same. <laughs> that is racist. Stop that. <laughs> uh, you get a plus two for me. Plus two for me. Anyone else with the computers? What are you looking at? I at least see. Sorry, I'm help. Three. 33, Josh? 33? Unless I at least he's going to help. I helped. 35. All right, so you were able to get everything up and running. The power, you, as you say, the power is successfully generating. And the last step is to uh, distribute it to the rest of the base. Hold on a second, though. I got a cool effect for you. Ooh. Well... Wait a minute, is this mine? Yes, this is the one I want to see. So uh, as you activate the core, you get uh, a massive amount of light and functionality erupts in the middle. Light? We can see? It, it pierces the, the veil. Those of you who know, uh, it's like putting a thousand watt bulb in. I mean, it's, it is just bright. You can't look directly at it. But it is providing more illumination than typical. Oh, in fact, I might even make it even bigger. While we're here, can we do anything about the uh, the mist? Well, get everything activated, then you can see. Whoa, light! Well, actually, you need the control room for that, Adam. Gotcha. Yeah, we're just turning the power on right now. Right. So this is the last check to distribute power to all the systems on the base. Jeff. Uh, you got a plus two from Ghost. Plus two from my OEC. Uh, I think anybody who's got the ability to roll a computer's check should roll it. Yes, they should. I think we need to you, You've got every computer check of mine that I can give you. <laughs> Captain Nala? Have you rolled for computers to assist Trigger? 16. Ah, you get plus six then. Anyone else? That's three of us. That's all you're going to get, I think. Anybody else? I don't think I have computers. It's usually just the three of us that roll. Okay. So what's your total, Mikey? So 19 plus 19, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34. Not enough. Uh, a countermeasure is initiated. Now, I think you have a, a special ability regarding countermeasures as a, as a mechanic. Yep. Can you tell me what that is? Yeah, I got to find it.
Sorry, hang on. Oh, my, my bottom two, I should have thought it was ahead of that. Hmm. I don't see it on the first couple pages here. Or I would have expected to see it. Uh, it says, I think uh, it might be tied to the mechanics rig. So, is there an ability like expert rig? He doesn't have an expert an ability called expert rig, does he? He may not be high enough level yet. So, no, right. I'm not high enough level for that. All right, you're you're gonna give me a DC fifteen computer check. Nobody can assist. On a success, okay. you'll take half damage. On a fail, you'll take full damage. Uh, so natural seventeen. All right. Uh, yes. So you're going to take half of this. Oh, boy. <laughs> so seven? Yep. Okay. When the power comes back on, it starts being distributed to the rest of the base. Trigger, are you okay? Yes, that was uh there's a there's a uh a short somewhere in the system. That was not good. That looked like some sort of countermeasure, but yes, uh, probably a short. Wow, I'm glad you are okay. His fur there, there's a short in, interacting with the system as well. His fur is and it smells like burnt hair. <laughs> nice Adam. So <laughs> that's the connection. Alright, so you successfully reactivated the power systems here. Do do you need some healing? Do you need some help? I'm uh I'm uh, I'm okay right now. Okay. Um, we need to go to the control now, which is back up by Lab One. That's so where we just came back. from. We have to go back the exact same way. Oh, I hate this place so much. It loves you. Chris, can I ask, how did you make your uh, health and stamina visible? Uh, you click on your guy. Yep, I entered the number. And, no, and then you go to the gear. Yep. And then you just enter your numbers and hit save changes. When I look at yours, it's visible. But when I look at mine, it's not visible. Unless it's probably I, visible. Are you, guys, are you guys able to see mine? No. Only I when I... Only when I click on it. But, oh, you got to put twenty four twenty. You got to put your. You got to put both. Your oh. first and your last. So I just. Well, you started. Hit. Yeah. You only have one punched in. Okay. Thanks. I'll play around with that. All right. Moving on up. Moving on. Right and then that eighteenth of uh, my bullets. Oh, genius, dude. That's the thinking. All right. I'm going to move. Oh, Mikey's doing it too now. I'm going to move you guys out of this area because I know you were careful in the hallway. I'll continue to give you credit for that. We were sneaky, sneaky. Who keeps, who keeps moving themselves? I'm trying to help you here. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't move anybody. Josh is moving us as a group. And it's even. A pain in the butt for me, guys, as you can tell. <coughs> Super quick. All right. So I put you back by the uh, the entrance to where you come in. Can you control click to take us back there if you don't mind? Well, you want everything. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to zoom out and then. I know. <laughs> can I move you? Uh, not yet. No, it's shift. Shift click. <coughs> yep, that worked. Okay, so we need to go... Uh, Why don't you get the marching order set up? Uh, Adam, so, so Ozzy's first. Yep, and then yep. followed Ghost right behind Ozzy. And then I, I gotta be behind him because I got the map, right? So it's Ozzy? Yep. Trigger. Trigger. I'll jump in there. Ghost right in there. 
Nala, I know I at least didn't want to be there. Sorry, tell, sorry, I tell him. Can I turn the foot off? No, I want the light on so I can see. But I can't see, Jules. Oh. You can turn it down some more if you want. Why, um... We should put the bug in between, like, Nala and Ghost, and then I at least need... Whatever you say, Trigger. Okay. I'm not next to Ghost. Do you have your weapon out? Where is your weapon now? It just made you last. No, I do not want to be last. My weapon is out. Okay, good. That is good. How many bullets do you have left? How many charges? It's a sword. You do not have a ranged weapon in the... What is in your other hand right now? Oh my goodness. It's a... It's a it's pistol. My disintegrator pistol. Okay, that is good. How many shots have you got left in your pistol? Uh, Too slow, you are dead. You must answer these things fast. You need to be ready. Pop quiz. Pop quiz. There is a monster. He is going to kill the bug or he is going to kill me. Who do you save? What? Too, too slow. The bug is dead. You see, you be much be faster. You need to be faster. I was trying hey, to figure out the number of charges. I'm sorry. Go kills every. <laughs> that is you okay. It is okay. That's okay. You you killed Tahoman. That was good. You killed the slime creature. Yeah. So it is okay. Yeah, I killed Tahoe Man. You bet I killed Tahoman. Okay, are we Talk doing this thing? The most important one here. I killed Tahoman. Is anybody else like hungry for tacos now? Taco oh, Man. man. <laughs> Ghost, I have a question. To the right, everybody. What is hey, what's the marching order? Where does I at least fit in the marching order? I will go between Ghost and Bugman. Yeah, she's between Ghost and Bugman. All right. I'm gonna move you as a group again. What is your I question, I you see? You just move straight up north, Mikey. Uh, yeah, we have to move up and then to the right. Ghost. Okay, so up is here. Where we've already been once before. Yes. When do we get to kill the bug man? We uh, guys, <laughs> uh, it's it's a cavern. It everything echoes. He echoes, echoes, echoes. All right. No, I don't I see think, any other. I'm pretty sure she said, "When do we get to hug, man?" I think, I think that is it. When do we get to kill the hug, man? When do we stop hugging? That is, that is what the young kids are saying now. You are not right. hip. I moved you up to this room. Okay. Now you're on your own for moving. I don't know where we are. So oh, there we are. Okay. All right, so we're by the flame again. Okay, so okay, so to get to the control room, we need to go to the that way. <laughs> so this way here. <laughs> no, man, he's pointing like this way. <laughs> no, I think he is pointing to this way. No, I think down, maybe that way I think he's pointing. No, have you been in Mortal Kombat where he has saved your life? Listen, I know he, he is pointing this way. Yes. No, the other way. This way. Yes, up that way, up to that corner. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing with that laser pointer, Alice? That is going to blind somebody. That is going to hurt somebody. Better hope it won't be you. Oh, look at this. I am scared. <laughs> I scared ghost. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep going up, and we're gonna continue to the left as we keep going up. So if there's a a passage that looks like it's gonna go right, don't go that way. Don't go that way. All right, is there a treasure in that passage, Trigger? Um, doesn't look like there's anything there. Hey, as you guys hit this choke point. The sixth person in the marching order, which is typically Ialisi. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. In the marching order, you were the sixth. You were the fifth person. Yeah, you said the sixth person. I meant fifth because I said I rolled a five. Oh. Give me that perception check again. No. Claw comes out of the wall. I do not percept it. 
All right. It attacks. I'm assuming. I mean, what's the DC? What if the DC was like really low? Not really low. What is it? <laughs> Fifteen. Okay, yeah, I don't have that. Idea. All right, so uh, eleven plus. Where is the damage? Where is the fence? Uh, so twenty-nine versus KC. Oh my God, no! Yeah, that's a hit. Uh, yeah. Seven uh, plus eight, fifteen damage. Oh boy! Okay. It doesn't get its. Well, I'm not giving it its trick or anything out of the walls. Just a straight up attack. Mm -hmm. Just to be kind of not too abusive. All right, at least he took a, took a, a bad shot there for her. Yeah. Uh, you're not gonna whine about. <laughs> Let's keep moving, otherwise. Must they hit me? We're going to have to feed Ayalisi to this thing if we don't hurry up. I thought we were gonna feed the bug man to it. Okay. He is the FNG. Oh my gosh, Jeff has gotten so much younger. He's drinking oh, a looking. potion of youth. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. I hope you play better than your father. Tell me Wait. about it. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he's staying awake. Like he's yeah, he's already more uh, lively than his dad. Wait, uh, ask ask your dad. Uh, say, hey dad, Josh is saying that I'm out of resolve points and that I'm dead. What does that mean? Just say, dad, what's TPK? <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. He's not paying attention. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for trying. Good father. It was a good attempt. He's drunk as usual. Okay. Oh, wait, there, Ty, Ty, I'll set the stage for you. <laughs> Alright, I'm back, sorry. We like the younger computer version. Sorry, uh you died, it came out of the wall. <laughs> so like, good, good try though. Really it attacked you like four times. It was really weird. Yeah. Man. Real fast. Nothing I don't know can... why I don't know why your kid said just jump into it. Mm. <laughs> I touch it. <laughs> Must be a genetic thing. All right. Check to see if my gun is loaded. <laughs> no. What do All I right. do? You need to go left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nobody go. Water in my mouth. That was unfair. Oh, sorry, Jules. <laughs> <laughs> There he is. I right, keep see. going, keep right. going around. Okay, there we go. We still have right. that explosives, right? We could just uh, line up a whole bunch of explosives and blow the crap out of these hallways. Should we be leaving glow sticks so we know where to go to get back? Yeah, I'm gonna drop a few glow sticks in your in your, in your wake. Oh sure. sure. Okay, give me a second. I need some bread breadcrumbs here. I say breadsticks, but like, I could go for some breadsticks though. Is there ever not a good time for breadsticks? Honestly, no. I don't think so. I mean, like, you know what? If you're in a cavern where you literally cannot see more than 10 feet ahead of you, surrounded by a bunch of people that could kill you at any second and the giant ooze, I mean, I think that's a pretty good time for breadsticks. Hmm. Great. All right, there. I dropped some lights in your, in your wake. Um, there, you guys provide some. Yeah, uh, Mike, we're wrapping around to the left. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna keep going. It's gonna wrap back around to the right. All so right, guys, keep going, it's, gonna, it's gonna look like there's an open passageway to your left. What in the hell just opened up on my computer? You guys just passed a whole bunch of provisions and boxes of, on the on your right there, on your left, my and the right of the screen. It keep going, I guess. Nope. Ghost is going to check that out. Freely. Wait, we He's lost my... It. Hold on. Just Ghost is yeah, checking that out. out. Hold on, we lost Mike. Here, give us a second. Mm -hmm. Sivian, make me a perception check. <laughs> no problem. Oh, my blind sense, by the way. Is this guy stealthed, by the way? More than that. 
because because uh, uh, a Sharon ignores the stealth bonuses from any form of visual camouflage and visibility, and the light. Visual. Is it moving on the wall? You don't even detect it moving. No vi no vibrations, huh? I'll give you a plus two to your roll. Alright. Oh. I think I hit the button. Hold on. Alright, perception's a thirty. You see the you see the claw coming out at you. You Ooh. definitely avoid it. Athletic check? Oh yeah, athletic check, sorry. How deft. I thought it was acrobatics. Fifteen. Ac acrobatic, my Chris, not athletics, acrobatic. Gotcha. Eight. Ooh. So he gets a, he gets a swat at you, but because you perceived him coming, he's gonna take a minus three to his roll. All right. Well, oh, well why am I rolling? Thirteen. One quick question though: He did roll a base Budget. fifteen on his athletics check. If we just didn't add the plus two for athletics, and we added his uh, his bonus Dude, acrobatics, would that be enough? No, the actual check for that is fifteen. Right. That's all right. No, oh, whatever. Okay. So he oh. it rolls a oh, 20 to 31 versus AC. Oh, yeah, for sure. And it is a D12 plus 8. Come on. Oof, 20 damage. 20? You got it. Let's see if this works. Let's see if I teach him not to wander off. <laughs> no, no, I did that. I wanted to do that on purpose to see uh, if I, my blind sense did anything. It did give you a bonus on your check, but you still failed the check to get out of the way. Yeah, yeah, no, I was uh, just checking it out. It was just costly. Eh, it cost me a couple of uh, stamina points. Eh. That was a good. That was a good word. That was a good check. Yeah. <laughs> what? I was checking it out. Your blind says means nothing. It means nothing. No, it did. It gave me a bonus. I just mm. failed acrobatics. Could give you your stamina. Are you're gonna, me, you're gonna give me a couple back. I give you twelve back. Is are we in battle? Can we do this? No, or we could just, or we could just hang out for ten minutes and you can uh, use a resolve point. And get yeah, use a resolve. Get it back. We'll wait ten minutes. I said, I mean, if worse, we could you could wait ten minutes while we play with the lights once we get into the control room. I don't think we're that far. <laughs> hey, if we're waiting for ten minutes. Uh, can someone else try to use the med pack on me? I still have some broken skin over here. My fur is all messed up. Uh, Chris? Yep? You clearly sense movement in the wall now. It's, it's different than the creature that you attacked to. Your, your best guess is that it's probably a, a regular ooze or oozes based on the commotion. Uh, uh... Dudes, I'm getting a, a weird feeling from the wall. Uh, we're not alone here. There's there's multiple other oozes, I believe, that are that are swiggling through the wall. I think we better get a move on this. I think well, Ghost is is Ghost done inspecting the provisions? Yeah, of course. Uh, so, um, oops. Okay, get away. Hey, Ghost. Yes, I think that. I think the bug has to see a doctor for his ooze problem. I don't know how you get that. I knew a woman once who had the same thing. It was not good. No, no, they, they, he, 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 he should see somebody about that ooze problem. I agree. I, I didn't uh, know he had an ooze problem. Was he, was he trying to hide it from somebody? Is there a secret of the ooze? It, there is a secret mm -hmm. of the ooze. Listen, I will tell you ten years ago, uh, I trained uh, these baby uh, turtles. I taught them how to kill and to fight. And we all ate pizza, and it was delicious. But then I had to go. Master Shredder. <laughs> Splinter. Shredder was a bad guy. Splinter, yeah, Shredder was a bad guy. All right. Wait, you, uh, what about the rations? They really should name them with more Spider differing provisions. names. Hey, guys, I think we need to go up to where I am. See where I am up there? We will, but checking their provisions first. Oh, okay. that's where Mikey is. Mikey is by the provisions. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm actually by the provisions. Didn't we come from there? Yes, but you all you kept clicking without looking out. I'll, I'll put I a thought, light right on top of them. I thought we yeah. said that ghosts looked at those. There we go. Alright, so there's some weird stuff here, because this is an Eoxian base. They don't oh, really yeah. have uh, there's there's what was probably at one point fresh flesh, flash frozen. Now it is decomposed, it is rotted out. There is several vials uh, 
of liquid. The seal has rotted off at the top, but there is still liquid in there. Is it blood? You don't know what it is. Drink it and find out. I'm not going to drink it. You drink it. There's three of them. One is green, two are black. What color is your blood? Ghost picks up the green one. He does a mysticism and a life science check. Or a physical science, whatever you think is most appropriate. That would be smarter. I will also... As, uh, as he looks out for trouble. What was the first one you were giving, Bob? That, mysticism? I took the green. Uh, yeah, right. Life science, I, I mysticism, with, or physical? Uh, yeah, we'll go with mysticism. That's fine. I will also do one of those. You yes. taking the black one, though? Yeah, sure. How's it, 20? All right, hold on, let the jewels roll, too. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 18. Okay. So, Bob, you believe yours was a similar to a, a wine that they would have? It may or may not have positive or negative effects on you based on what it is now. When it was fresh, <laughs> it would have been poisonous to you. But the poison degrades over time and may be actually beneficial. He's drinking it. He takes a big swig. It's beyond vinegar. Why don't you take a little sip? What? I am thirsty. I am drinking. What is your problem? Ghost chokes oh, the pile. It restores, I, I, it restores his hit points to max. He has minus two to all rolls for the next... Until I determine otherwise, because he wouldn't know. Is is there a um, a vat of glowing liquid nearby? No, the black one. I'm pretty black. sure Bob wants to stick his arm in it. If there is, <laughs> there's two black ones. Anybody? I did. Oh, I you, rolled you, for that one. You did your roll for that one. That is the you identify it based. That is the blood of an innocent, or at least it was. I told you it was blood. It's been so old, you have no idea what happens if you consume it. Mm, this was good. It was a bit minty. Mm, with shades of oak. Oak and a bit of cherry. Ghost, why would you drink that? What, what do you mean? What does not kill you makes you stronger. What did you say, Mikey? Trigger sticks his finger in the black one and, and paints, him, paints it under his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Trigger, you look so cool. The fumes temporarily blind you. Two rounds. <laughs> Twelve seconds. He's now marked by. He's now marked by the uh, black ooze and things in the walls. Perfect. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Blood of the innocents. <laughs> you, you soaky, are so stupid. Crazy or brave? No wonder you're so small. It's because you need a head small enough to fit your little brains. <laughs> Hey, it healed him. It did That's heal him. Bob didn't get fully didn't healed. Know gonna do that. Bob, how many hit points did you get back? Uh, I was down two. I healed two. So you healed two. One for every minus to all your rolls. Yeah. I had no idea. That was what I made up. So, and is anybody going to try the black ones? No. 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 What? What? Did, all right. Did everybody just freeze first, for you? Yeah, or is that uh, what? I, I'll take that. What you, is maybe? that? I everybody just that. froze except for you on my screen. All right. Are, the, are you leaving the black ones or taking them? No, we're taking them. I just lost everybody's video. Ghost is drinking except them. Except for you. Where's your connection? Ghost will drink the black Is everybody ones. there? Hey, yeah, we're all here. Hello? Hello? Yes, Hello? we hear you. Your Discord shut down? No. Everybody shows up as speaking, though. They all lost me. I hear you. I hear you. What the heck? You have to reset you. It's Every not me. <laughs> this is such a I hear everybody. Okay, so Adam says that they can hear us. Yep. Well, we can't hear. I didn't touch the wire, Adam. Oh, put, it, put it back in. The speaker. This is the speaker. This is this this no. This is the microphone. That's the speaker. But she's on rule twenty. Okay, lost yeah, and video. she's on Discord. We can hear her, so the Discord connection is good. And I right. well, can you guys figure that out real quick. Someone speak. Okay, they're all still. It still shows them all up as speaking. 
What the heck? I'm gonna drop out of the voice channel and then rejoin. Okay. Walk the dog real quick. Thank you. Hey, Mikey. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna pee. Oh, great. Leave me to struggle on my own. Gosh, Let's move this into the tech support channel. Yeah, good point. Uh, you can hear me, right, Adam? Yeah, we can all hear each other. It's just that they can't hear us. Yeah. So do you think we should recommend Josh reconnect as well, or just Jules? Just Jules, because Josh is definitely muted. Okay. And her video's back. That's good. Okay, I can see. Okay, so I reconnected to roll 20 and I can see everybody again. Can you Just hear like, us? Can you Discord. hear us now? Well, I closed Discord. I rejoined Discord. I'm speaking. Shows up that everybody is speaking somehow. Which I highly doubt that everybody is speaking all at once. And I don't hear anybody. Right now. Right, what is the speaker set to? Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby. Do do. Mommy shark do 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 do. Mommy shark do 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 do. Mommy shark do 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 do. Oh, careful! Don't sing that for too long. I'm gonna get a copyright strike on YouTube if I put this. All right. All right. Um, change the speaker to your PC. Okay. Oh, you know what's kind of weird? After seven years, I finally got a copyright strike. I'm one of the... Uh, right, we can't hear you, though. ...of the Ripper's uh, items for a portion of the audio used. After seven Twitch. years. Oh, really? Yeah. Somebody was really trolling for that. Seriously. It's just Hello? kind of annoying that for 20 Hello? years... Hello? Did you hear Jules? Did you, Jules, okay, did you... I wonder if I can put Jules from the that. server. I'm going to disconnect Jules. Are you sure you exited Discord and you didn't just exit? Because if you click the X, it doesn't exit it. How do I exit it then? So click the X, and then your system tray in the bottom right is still going to be there. In the bottom right? What are you talking about? Okay. In your system Bob tray. says Adam's going to kick me from right. the server. So we'll just let that. Right. Change, change back to the, the, the jobber, though. Yeah, well, I'm. What's the SFS spellbot? Oh. Oh, you don't know what the SFS spellbot is? Mm, nope. Oh. Can you hear us now, Jules? Oh, yes, we can hear you. Okay. Yay. I don't know what happened there. That was strange. All right. Sometimes just need Sorry to reconnect to Discord. Sorry about that. Well, that was, I lost Roll20 and Discord all at once. But Sounds like you had a network hiccup. So. But it's interesting because... I don't know. It's weird. Anyway. I don't know, but when I lost Discord, I lost everyone but Father. I could still see Father. Oh, you didn't roll 20. So. In roll 20. You didn't hear him because he's in the same room. <laughs> yeah, right? So, uh, Chris. I'm standing right next to you, Jane. I can hear you just fine. <laughs> While you're in Discord, Chris, uh, Sorry. type the plus sign, the word spell, space, and then one of your spells, like days. So plus spell, space, days, and hit enter. You too. Unknown spell. Uh, D A Z E. Oh, D A Z. Adam, how you holding up? I'm all right. Oh, look hey, at dude, that! He's coming in. It looks good. Yep. So you will now get all the information on your spells if you need it. Who Just put that it. there? Adam did. Well. Oh. All right. Told black Adam potion. Who's gonna Who's try it? That? Oh, I'm drinking the black potion. Ghost, I swear on my pretty floral bonnet if you drink that black potion! Should I not drink what is right here? You do not want <sighs> Yes, that one right there! Do not drink it! Fine, I will not drink it for now. Maybe later. He puts it I'll in the drink it. Back. And then it pours it out when he's not, when he's not when he's looking. Yeah, I assume it's stoppered, otherwise it would have. Uh, uh, as you'll drink, what was 
stop, the stopper is rotten. You have to drink. You can't carry it around. It's now or not. Ozzy, uh, you drink it. Ozzy just grabs it and drinks it. He doesn't even say anything. I yeah, do it. For it. I'm do sorry, it. but you you can't take a a piece of your cloth or something and wrap it up and then plug it in with a piece of cloth. No. Like Ozzy drink. Ozzy chugs it down. Inconceivable. It is weird. It, I, I can't even tell you if you like the taste or not. But it provides like in having Indian food for the first time. Yes, uh, plus <laughs> five stamina, minus two HP. It's a good trade. That's a win. Ozzy, Ozzy, are you okay? What happened to you, Ozzy? Are you dead? I'm, I feel a little more, little, little stronger, a little weaker, a little, but stronger. That's not how it works, Ozzy. You said minus two HP. Yeah, you're just trading HP for stamina. Yeah. A little flavor. It's, it's a bonus of plus three. Yeah. Anybody want to leave the yeah. black one? So okay. I have total stamina points 32, current stamina 37. Uh, <laughs> I'll drink Were the other down? one. Sure. Were you down stamina, Adam? No, I was not. Can I go over my total because of this or no? Plus three, ten. First time we've used that, plus three temporary hit points. No, Mikey's, going Mikey's got ten hit points as, as a mechanic. Yeah. Mm. Um, did, you, did you say you were drinking the other one, Bob? Yeah, sure. <sighs> All right, plus three. All right, plus five stamina, minus two HP. Okay. What was your stamina at its max? It was at its max. All right, so plus three temp points instead. Okay. Minus two Got HP. So you know, I'm, Ghost, it's so hard to be your friend sometimes. I am back to the exact same hit points that I had before I started the potion adventure. So I <laughs> nice. feel like we've all learned something from this, haven't we? Yes. Yes, next time drink the black one first. <laughs> yes. Or Guys, I made that up on the spot. Give me a break. <laughs> Ghost, let, Ghost lets out a really long uh, rude belch. Which smells like blood. That it is delicious. Ghost, it is the worst belch you've ever had. Wow. Wow, that one really stays with you, no? Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is that, like 20 years old, 40 years old? That's a good age right there. Ooh. The snout. Okay, we're moving on. All right, we're moving on down. Oh, except uh, Mikey's walking the dog. So well, I think we just kind of go around the corner here. You just follow the snout. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm back. All right, now, now I can't move everybody anymore. So, Mike, the green potion uh, ends up reducing your hit points by two and skills by minus two. The black potion improves your stamina no, by five two, and reduces your hit points by two. Bob, all your rolls are minus two right now. Yeah, understood. Roll, attacks, skills, whatever. Yep. Okay, okay so we got to keep going down to the south. We inspect the provisions. Uh, there is nothing of value in that pile. So we move provisions. on. Out of this Twenty-year-old provision. Okay, fine. There's a purple one in there. No. <laughs> what? I drink it. What? That's what? a combination oh. of the red one and the blue one, right? <laughs> Joel's is dying here. <laughs> what? Nobody there's, wants these. I'll take yeah, it. There's two purple ones there. There's now there's two purple ones. Ghost, do not drink it. What? What do you mean? This right here? You mean this right here? Slap him. Oh, it's going down my throat. Uh, Slap it. Goes... <laughs> <sighs> okay, so Ghost drinks one of the purple ones. I slapped him. <laughs> he wasn't going to let you get out of his He's hand. faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the purple one yields a plus three to all checks. Oh, I feel pretty good. <laughs> But also pretty bad. But pretty good. <laughs> Just slightly better than bad, I would say. So, yeah, there's, there is another purple one. This one is still stoppered, so you could take it with you. I think we should take it with me. I may need an extra plus three to my checks. Ghost, <laughs> didn't you ever learn anything about mixing drinks? Yes, I learned a lot. I learned that when you wake up in the morning, you should drink some more. It helps. Hair of the dog, baby. That's that hair of the Yosoki. <laughs> All right, so you're taking one purple potion plus yep. three to a skill. Uh, we're going to go down south, guys. And then that corridor is going to turn back around to the right. Anything in this barrel? No. 
It said dried out. Whatever was in there is dried out. It was probably more up those stairs, and there should be a doorway on our left. I should have just done this from the start. It would save us a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, you open the door. Perception on the door. Good. Sivian 17 does not detect anything. Uh, actually, Sivian, you do detect some pulsing, like power being uh, distributed in that room. Um, I'm going to do that's where, that's where your blind sense than anything else. I, I feel almost an energy pulse, but nothing squiggly. All right, this is the room we need to be in. This is the, the main control. What'd you get, Ilesi? I have a 19. Ilesi does not detect anything in the room either. Uh, wait, I, uh, I have a question. Who has the scanner that tells you the location of the McCoffin? The scanner is not detailed enough for that. It was more of a general, I'm on the right general part of the planet versus exactly where it is. Uh, so we can't use it to tell where the creature is right now. Correct. Okay. No, because that would be too convenient for the plot. That, that might be. Okay, got it. All right, um, you open the door? I go through the door. Look, listen, feel. Door's gone. Bye bye, door. Now, in theory, is there a light in there already, Adam? There's a light in the lower left and the upper yeah, left. Yeah, there are two lights. Oh, there. and there's that whole table is lit up, too. Yes, that is the control panel. Do you know what that is, though, really? It looks like it is a DJ mixing table. You see the two turntables? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what do you want? I'm working with what's free and I'm improvising in, in the last five minutes here. I am going to rock some sick beats to you tonight. <laughs> Absalon in the house. Yes. Absalon. <laughs> Ghost, we have to focus. Fo focus, yes. Focus fire, yes. <laughs> oh, is that a fire in the fireplace? Uh, it is actually, it is a fireplace. Where Oddly, this, this looks like it was a... Uh, there's a door to the north there. I don't think you, you can see it yet. Because, uh, you I know, undead alien creatures that are no longer alive sometimes just want to cuddle up with a hot cup of cocoa and a nice romance novel by the fire. Ambiance, dude. Hmm. I would totally kill for that right now. Honestly, the, the map is just scrolling right off my screen. I'm not even touching Look. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening on my computer right now. <laughs> there, I'll bring you in, ghost. There you are. Nope, didn't work. It is there. Everybody's in the room. All right, so the control, the master control panel is off to the right. Okay. It has uh, some lights on it, but it's not. It's clearly not fully operating. There's a door to the north, and there's a fireplace, which is an odd thing to have there. In the main control room, yes. <laughs> Go uh, I'm going to at the control panel. All right, you're gonna need an engineering check to fully react to reconnect everything. I will it. attempt to assist. I'll assist. I assist. Twenty-three. And you okay, get another, so you get a plus six from the three of us. So twenty-five, thirty-one. All right. You're able to re-energize the control panel. You should, in theory, have access to everything within the base. Um, give me a computer's check to get past the security lockout and see how you do. Okay. We assist again, all three of us. I assist. Natural 20. Wow, nice. Assist. So you got a plus four from uh, the captain and Ghost. And what about Ilesi? Oh. Yep. Oh. So a plus six total, Trigger. Okay, so 36. DC 32. You have full access to the systems of the base. Um, you have logs. You have light function, which really doesn't seem to do much anyway. You have environmental controls. Do the logs seem like... Oh, do the environmental controls? Ooh, environmental controls. You have vent control. You have... Vent control! We're going to... Yeah, we'll attempt to get the vents working. Okay, I'm sorry. What are you going to do with the vents? Uh, well, I, I'm going to try to get some air circular. Okay, remember the log said that that was largely unsuccessful? So you, you activate the log, you're able to activate the vents. Ten minutes goes by, and your light extends maybe another five feet. Oh, no, I, I was just thinking about actual air circulation. Sure. I, I was you just, don't care about that. 
I was uh, in Israel trying to get rid of the fog. Trigger. Yeah. There. Do you have yeah. individual controls of each of the vents? Because then you could suck all of the air to one room. Instead of circulation, you could direct the air to one location. But, 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 but go, 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 what's that going to do for us if we move all the air to one room? Then we would not have air. We'd have to put our suits back on. Oh, I suppose that is true. Well, never mind. Can you add more light in the room as well? I, I I think I've turned on all the lights that can be turned on. Well, what else have you got in there? Have you got logs? Have you got video games? What music is on that machine? Well, well, I, I, I hacked into their iTunes library. All right, so you find Galaga's on there. Galaga. Oh, I... Trigger's done for the rest of the day. You guys have completely lost him. Oh, it is a Galaga tournament. You are on. <laughs> go, 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 go. Take the seat across from me. Okay. We can play. Hey, I don't think my controller is connected, Trigger. I am pressing the button, but nothing is happening. Are you sure? I would, I'm would. i pretty sure I fixed it for you. You are really good at this. Okay, I will keep playing. That is strange. Okay. Hmm. I just like two minutes ago. Come say hi, everybody. Hey, guess who's here? Well, I left like 20 minutes ago. Where am I? You're right down here. Oh, hey. There. How's it going? Hey, uh, how are you? Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hi, Uncle Jeff. Hey, buddy, buddy. <laughs> Henry says hi, too. Hey, Henry. <laughs> and it's Henry. How are you feeling? How's the recovery going? Yeah, how are you it's doing? It's really good. I, I really don't feel any pain. Oh, that's great. That's I just awesome. feel frustration about being able to do anything. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, no uh, look, I, look sorry, on the plus ahead, side. Oh, sorry, Mikey. Look on the plus side. If you're recovering under normal circumstances, they tell you you'd have to stay at home and not do anything. Now all of us have to stay at home and not do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you share your pain. All right, you good? Yep. Good night. See you in the morning. Bye, everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night, guys. Okay. All right. Um, Josh, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna try to see if I can access any more of the logs that we. To see if there's any more information about um, this, this ooze creature. Uh, I want to see if there's anything I can access about, um, you know, the darkness that, that that's kind of all, all fallen. And did they not figure anything out about it? Um, how are they dealing with it? All right. So give me your computer check to search through the computer databanks. Okay. I will assist. And I am scared. We'll give you some more assistance. Can add a plus two for me? Okay, so. Let me tell you that. That would cheat. I'm making it up. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Come on. So, 32, and if I need more, Jeff can roll. 17. 34. All right. Oh, Adam, Adam walked away. So you you learn you find the uh, the final captain's log you find the find the final log of the base commander, and he goes, the the, the situation is desperate. We, we we're being picked off one by one by this thing. Darty killed most of us. The engineer has 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 worked through the the programming of the vent system, and we believe that we can close certain vents to coincide at certain times. And he's written a program. To help us lock the creature in one place, so, so we have to draw it out and close the vents there, and then we'll have him trapped in the room with us, and we should be able to take him out. Okay, so the creature killed a bunch of undead other creatures, right? What was that? These these other people here that were they were undead, right? Yes. Yeah. Fiends, yeah. Okay, so the creature killed a bunch of undead creatures. It tore them to pieces. Tore them to pieces. <laughs> and their solution was to lock themselves in a room with it. Well, their their solution was to prevent it from. Well, the way the way it went, it's, the way it's been happening for you, where it's been striking very sporadically. Yeah, is how it took out half of the base. Now what they're trying to do is is get it into one place. Where they can confront it and kill it all, they can, they can, they can't get away. This is like Alien Three in the prison, I think. 
Yeah, but then he killed them all anyway. You don't know what happened. There is no log entry. There's no follow-up log. Okay. Uh, there is some code there, Mike, that you're able to use. You think you can... <laughs> you can, using your using your wireless connection and your exocortex, you can activate certain vents at, at certain times from anywhere in the base. Okay. So we do have internal sensors, possibly, that could be used. You don't have sensors, but you have the, you have control of, of opening and closing the vents. So, Trigger, let me get this straight. This you... Goes, this thing goes through the walls. Through the vents in the wall. So you, you can prevent it from getting away now. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure I was understanding. Got it. You can draw it to a location. Yeah. You can pick your place to, to fight. What if we close the wall on the creature? It seems like it is very squishy, so if we try to close it, it could just get around, no? Until but it's we sealed. Killed it. We killed the one before by cutting it in half. Alright. We'll just not do the same thing? No. But just on a bigger scale because this one is bigger. We could try. We we don't know what kills it. But then if we cut it in half, then we have two pieces. Well, you have two of it to deal with potentially. That is no, I don't want two. What do we know? So, Has any anything hurt it yet fully? Uh, my my stabbing bayonet did not do anything. Your your stab did some. Uh, Mike, can you give me another computer's check? Okay. Can we assist? Are you going to assist? Sorry, just to clarify, did it do full damage then? No. Okay. So the question is, were there any attacks that did full damage so far? No. Okay. Mike's uh, that's your computer check, Bob. What's Mikey's? Uh, right now I'm at a base 33. Plus two right, from that's, Ghost? That's adequate. They... they, 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 yeah. they they realize that the creature has some uh, damage reduction, DR5. It has many operative like abilities and skills. It has quick movement. It cannot be caught flat-footed. Well, it doesn't have feet. So on and so forth. So it does have a special reflex ability, where if it saves on a reflex check, it takes no damage. Just don't Jeffrey is. is. Mm -hmm. Holy. <laughs> These are a lot of the operative skills. This creature is pretty much an operative. Yes, mm. and the creature's body is malleable and shapeless. Mm. Oh, and it is immune to double damage from critical hits, but it is affected by critical hit effects. And any weaknesses? No. None that they found. Of course not. Why would it have weaknesses? Hmm. Does it burn? It takes damage from, from fire, but it does, t it does have its reduction. Does it take damage from acid? It doesn't say. Hmm. <coughs> Which is interesting because there's acid all over the. Yeah. <coughs> does that mean that it's immune from acid, or does that mean that's a tool to help us kill it, do 60 10 damage, and it takes less? You'd have to drop it in a pool of acid to get that 60 10. Yeah. It was the meds, opening close to the meds. So, I'm going to be honest, I mean, it looks pretty... Pretty what, Mikey? Mikey? I mean, guys, I have a crazy idea. I mean, if we can lure the thing to the power generation, I wonder if we can electrocute it to death. That is interesting, Trigger. And what if we add to your idea... We have seven undetonated explosives from Tahoe Man. What if we rig them all up to your wrist so that you can set it off as well and we can electrocute it and blow it up? I mean, it, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's just a thought, guy. I mean, just, 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 just thinking about the amount of power that, 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 that it takes to run, ooh, that would probably kill anything. Okay, hey, hey guys, I'm gonna move you to the other map, the actual map. Okay. For a second, and uh, I'm gonna highlight where they attempted their their. Uh, so right here is where they attempted their efforts, figuring they could close the door, 
it was a confined space where they would be able to focus on, on killing the creature. Sorry, uh, I'm zoomed out and I'm not able to see where you're directing where they tried to lure the creature. I, I got them. They're all boxed. I got them. Remember that room that had the rubble on the stairs? Yeah. <laughs> we would either need to go down that rubble or we'd have to go back through the room. So before we went into Lab 1, Bob, where the fire is in the middle of the room, mm -hmm. we'd have to go down that set of stairs and then loop ourselves all the way around to get back to that staircase with the rubble on it. Why would they want to lure it? Why would they want to lure it there, do you think, Trigger? Uh, I think because it's probably one of those interior... I mean, it's it's it's, it's a... That rope. That help? That help? Yeah, no, yeah. that helps. Mm -hmm. No, I can't see. Um, there, there's a couple of those interior rooms like that seems to not be connected to other, you know, walls. Ah, so it with, cannot escape. Right, so it can't seem to escape through the vent. There's no vents, right? So there's one vent in, maybe one vent out. And so once it's in and they, they lock the doors. Can you um, set the power to generator to overload so that it overloads and then explodes? We could, but we have to somehow figure out how to get it into that generator. Can you change the events so that you can push it there? Uh, we can try to manipulate the vents and drive it there. That would require us to kind of force it to follow us. Hey, Trigger? Yeah. The, the number of vents in the system are, are astronomical. Be, you, you would, it would be almost impossible for you to direct it through. You have to draw it where you want it to be. But that's what I'm saying. I, as I said, we, we would have to basically down there, right? So we would have to try to lure it down to that power room, mm -hmm. and we'd have to try to trap it into that power room, and then try to over. So we'd have to. We want to set the charges first. Uh, Jeff sets down. Yeah. And Jeff out. <laughs> Unless he's frozen. Two minutes after we complimented on staying awake. Awake like two seconds ago. No lie. Like oh, no. Amy just said. Oh my God, Jeff is still awake. He lasted ten minutes longer than last week. Call him. <laughs> and he probably slept 10 minutes later today before he woke up. So. He didn't even start drinking until we started playing. Jeez. It was a good run. Call him on his telephone. This is where he needs to swap out with Ty and then let Ty pick up. Ty's out in bed already, too. It's Austin who stays up all night. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> right, so I think this is the plan. And you can remotely control the vents, so you can trap it in there, yes? Yes, we, but we, we, we'd have to make sure... That we would, that we'd have to do, do, do some some crazy, crazy stuff. Like we'd have to force ourselves against the walls to make sure it was following us. People are gonna. I'm not be doing that. Um, you want, so you want to detonate the reactor core? Yeah. Okay, so don't don't forget we have to um, get the the artifact from inside this thing before we leave. And uh, everybody, give me a physical sciences check. I got a 20. This is 15. 26. The, the assumption is that if you guys act, did that, you would crack the asteroid drawn open. It's not a big, you know, it's only a mile or so across. So you would shatter the asteroid, perhaps killing yourselves in the process. I would be. Big boom. I, I, would, I would take acceptable losses of everybody in the party except for Ghost and I. <laughs> can, we, can we lure it to the surface and then blow it up with the sheep's weapons? I I don't know if we would get it out of here. I understand why it would want to stay down here. Um I mean at the end of the day, as a predator, this is this territory. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it, it doesn't have to leave here, right? So, um, it doesn't look like it needs these things for food, right? It doesn't seem to be eating these things. They were already undead. They were already dead. And it seems to have just kind of ripped them apart. It didn't really seem to turn them around. Dogman, what type of magic do you have that can help us in this situation? 
I don't think I have much uh, that's going to affect it. It's not really the uh, intelligent creature. But you are an intelligent creature. What magic can you learn instead if you had a night's rest? I.e., can you change your, can you change your spells in your library? Not only if I uh, level up. Oh, okay. I'm but you can, But instead of learning like four mind thrusts, you could learn four cures or something, right? No, uh, I don't learn any of them. I have them. I have the ability to use them all. Oh, I see. Oh, I Anything see. Anything I can use. That's cool. I just have a limited slot, uh, number of slots. Oh, nice. Well, it's not like the D and D magic user. Yeah. I, I just I, I don't have I mean I understand the idea of trying to floor it to a specific room and trap it in there. Um, I mean realistically, maybe luring it to that room and figure out what we can do to kill it. Because realistically, at the end of the day, right, blowing up the power core. I, see, I didn't want to blow up the power core, right? I just wanted to use the power core to try to put enough electricity through it to kill it. Why don't we try to separate it into its base forms? So it's, it's, a, it's a proxy. We, we, uh, Jules, I see your hand. I'm sorry. Honey. <laughs> so, I, I mean, this thing sounds like it's at least six or seven of these things put together. Jules, what do you got, Jules? Um, so, IOEC has this spell called Inject Nanobots, and it's a necromancy spell. Mm. So I'm assuming that that would be something that's definitely a little different from the usual. What do the nanobots do? The nanobots deal 4d8 damage and cause the confused condition. You have to touch But I have to touch it. Okay, this is like iRobot all over again. <laughs> so... I think we just modify our okay? plan. I think we use these seven bombs that we have, rig them up, lure it to their room, we blow it up, and then we attack it until it is dead. I, I think the problem is if we do all of that explosion, Ghost, we have the potential to destroy us as well. Uh, can you tell me with your engineering if seven of our detonators will destroy the base or if it will just blow things up safely? Well, we got to remember we're we're inside this asteroid, right? So, um, I don't know. I don't know if I have enough knowledge of the structural integrity of this asteroid. Trigger, you are the best engineer I have met in my life. You are the smartest creature in the galaxy. You should know this. Perhaps... Anybody want to give me a, a physical sciences or a engineering check? I'm happy to discuss this with them. <laughs> okay. I will attempt a physical sciences check. Is your engineering be better, though? Oh, yeah, my engineering is better. Sorry, yes, engineering. What's that, Josh? I want to make sure you were still there. You just dropped out of the picture. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm resting my feet. Go so you trying to help me with that? Oh, yeah, of course. Or separate, or whatever. Is it better to Here, do Trigger, I brought you a slide rule. Here, have plus two. Oh, plus good. Two. I like slide rules. The I, I can't say I can't say that word. This <laughs> the, the, the slide rules. So do you. What do you got, Mikey? Uh, so I got a base thirty plus two. Plus 32. four. Plus four. Thirty-four. All right. So the base provides some some measure of artificial gravity. You only came down probably ten or fifteen feet into the into the asteroid. So your guess is blowing something would ex would create a cave and expose you to the outside, and it would be subject to the rules of normal gravity since there's artificial gravity on the base. Wait, there is so there is artificial gravity on the base trigger. Wait, with grenades? Just like with those grenade bombs? I mean, we're not talking about blowing the power core anymore. Gr grenades would be. Are the detonators and grenades the same thing, Bob? From a damage perspective, they are. They're they're identical in damage. So he, what are they roll? One d eight. I think they do. So I, I will put it in game terms for you. More than 40 damage from that will result in a cave-in. So, so we, you, recommend two, we recommend two different series. <laughs> more than 40 total damage. <laughs> so you can roll the dice. Literally. Literally. 
I think that's a fair bet. I think that's a fair fair GM decision there. I mean, we have seven of them at, at seven D eight. I mean, that's fifty six. Why don't we just? Why don't we do like a group of? I don't know. I'm not good at math. A group of three and a group of four. Don't blow them at the same time. You have to blow them in different places. Yeah, we can do that. Imagine in one place. Well, I, I guess my I guess my question is, Adam, what does it benefit to blow them in two different places? Hey, before, and we're not going to exceed forty damage. Before we go any further, still not, still not, the idea was to do damage to the creature, right? Right, but if we do too much damage at once, then this place could break apart. Hey, Mikey. Yeah, I'm assuming that Trigger has closed the vents in this room while you guys are having this conversation. Yes, we're, we're sealed. Here. <laughs> Just making sure. That was the that was the main reason why I wanted access to the uh, in, uh, vents and get air flowing in here so that we can. Um, I I'm kind of at a loss on this guy. I, I mean, unfortunately, the reality is we have to kill it. The only way to get that. Have kind of put you in a situation. Jewel, jewel back, right? The, the the other piece that we need is we have to kill this thing. It's absorbed it. I think we just go with our best plan. We set up the grenades, we detonate them, and then we beat the crap out of it. And by the way, the chances of the cave in happening if we looped all seven of the grenades together is ten percent. Maybe slightly more than ten percent. So lab one is large enough that you could probably set up two sets of, of explosives, one on each side of the lab, and they would not total up. That makes sense? Yep. Yep, let's do that. Let's go kill things. And you have two doors in there, so. Okay, so we're going to go to lab one. We're going to set up our detonators. Uh, as we travel, uh, we'll keep the vents closed. So that we don't get attacked in route. All right. So, so here is the scoop with that. Um, Trigger can remote control the vents using his exocortex. It's a DC ten standard action. Okay. No, I'll, I'll give you move action on that. It shouldn't be too hard. It's only because only a DC ten. So you're going to be able to do it pre pre. Actually, you're going to pass it anyway, no matter what. But it's your move action to open and close vents. I will move you guys to. Um, I will give you the benefit of moving safely to lab one, and then you can position yourselves, and then figure out how you're going to draw the creature in. Can you do a control shift once you get us there, though? Yep. I think all we have to do is just wave around the artifact. It'll be it'll sense it. Yes, I think you are right, Bugman. It has the artifact in it. It needs another one. Oh, or we could just stand near a wall and grab it. I don't know if you can grab a news. All right. Uh, I put you in the room. Shift there. I put you back on that. Back. Yes, I did. It. All right. So you're in that room. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, if you want me to put, if you want me to put lights all over it so you can see it, just say so. Yep. Confirmed. We want to put yeah, lights all yes. over. We're going to light up the whole room now. I think one of the things we need to be really careful about when we set these charges is how, how do we how do we get out of this room below this set of charges without causing damage to them? Well, there's still a range on the explosion. That's what I mean. Like, how, how do we get the one other side of the room, right, where the creatures on the other side where the charges are, let's say, and we blow those charges? Then, if we blow those charges, do we wind up having the risk of taking out the door? Uh, well, the range on the explosions are twenty feet, so we set it twenty-three feet away from the door. Now the door won't get blown up. You guys, you guys could just disable one of the doors. These, these are not wooden doors. These are mechanical doors. You can just close one and, and weld it shut for lack of a better term. And be done with it. So I would say if that's the case and we can do that, I would, the door that's to our right, 
that leads to lab two, I say that's the door we can say you unlock. Of course, then you can't escape when you're stuck in there on that. You only have one, one point of exit. Hey, by the way, if it's 68, uh, if we use six of our grenades, the chance of rolling 40 damage is 1%. So let's just drop one grenade and make it one explosion. <laughs> Good. And I'm assuming Josh, the way that we came in is also the way we would go out. What, Adam? About Mikey? So the way that we came in here is the way, the way that we would get out. How do I undo that? I accidentally made a square. I don't want the square. What are you talking about, Jules? I don't understand. I oh, just control Z. I did that anyway. Okay. What was your question, Mikey? Yeah, that's right. The, the way that we came into the to the to the uh, base is the way we would also get out. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so we would definitely not want to block the door below us because that's our easiest egress back to that entrance. On the map, if we went out the door through lab two, it's a long, a very long way around. Yes. If you successfully defeat this thing, I will probably just hand wave that, your departure. But that's how I work, you know that. I know. Better hand wave our departure. Yeah. There's also a pretty big F here. We better just magically get back to the ship so I can hang out with my goblin uh, friends. All right. So, what is the plan, is there, gentlemen and lady? Is there anything on the ship we can use, guys? I can't think of anything else that's not really... I mean, we got a bunch of scatter guns. We have environmental suits. But um, I'll take a look at the loot list real quick, but I don't think there is much left. I want you to figure out where you're, gonna, where, you're, where you're going to be in the room and Do where you're going to position your grenades, your, your, your detonators. Our, our ship doesn't have, like, teleport trans uh, capabilities, does it? No, it does not. Okay. We can't put, like, an anti-red shirt thing here? No. Yeah, but oh, we also have a uh, shock grenade in addition to seven detonators and eight explosives. Well, the only grenades that I have left are sticky grenades. I wonder if they would do anything. I would say, Trigger, if it gets so bad that it survives the explosion, use your sticky grenade and let us find out. I have... Two of the sticky grenades. It does entangle within 10 feet, 2d4, for 2d4 rounds. You could think that it is probably immune to that. that. That's what I figured. Uh, okay, I have placed two bombs in the room. <laughs> I see one of them. I don't know where the second one is. I one of them right next to Ghost, like right outside of Ghost's view. There you go. But uh, I would say we, we only need one bomb. Just make it six grenades latched together. What? Don't do two bombs, because it's going to have damage reduction five. So that means it's ten points less. Versus the one explosion will be damage reduction only minus five. So just do six grenades, and the chance of getting 40 or greater is 1%. So you're fine. Sorry. I'm not rolling that damage roll, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, we should have Chris roll that. Chris or Adam? Uh, no, you that. You'd have to get seven eights in a one to exceed forty. Or with six, it would have to be yeah, that's right, five eights. Right. So here is the plan. We wait when it attacks. You 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 use the events to bring it here. And then, when it attacks, we blow it up. And then you, Alisi, you use your your super nanites. And then uh, the lizard man will just sit there and get hit again and again and again. Well, you guys have to make sure not to shoot at it because I don't want to get hit. We will not hit you. We will hit the creature. Whatever. I am a professional here. Don't worry about that. And All right. you, bug man, you shoot and then you heal the people who are hurt. All right, man. All right, place yourselves in the room. Should we try to wake the captain up? I feel like 
He might want to be awake for this. I think he needs to sleep. I think that um, you by default get, get him as his only move, as his only action. Uh, he does have one other thing. He can sacrifice yes, his. He can give a move to somebody else. Sure. He can also shoot a gun, so that could be useful. Hmm. But do you know his bonuses? I can make him up. Yeah. I mean, I just if, if this is a level eight creature that like wrecks us, we need every little bit we can get. I agree. Hmm. All right, move everybody around, and then uh, um, I will assume you're going to drop the creature in the center of the room where the bomb is. That'll be the only vent open in the room. Yes. One in the ceiling, maybe. Yep, love it. Yeah. Well, I think I'm the one who's got to draw it near. I got to go near the vent to try and pull it, get it through. So I guess I'm kind of here-ish. You want to be uh, the range on the explosion is 20 feet. So where are you going? Where you don't want to absorb that 68 damage. So, no, but but it, the way we get it out is that one of us has to get near the vent. Well, what what do you think attracts it? I don't know. Movement, heat, proximity. Like when one of us gets oh, or being alone. So well, you guys all get to the other side, and I'll 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 stay here, and then you guys all get the hell away from me. I, I don't know what twenty feet is on this map. I suppose uh, enough. Here you go. There's your twenty foot radius. All right, so I'm about here. Trigger, and you, you guys all. Trigger Adam, and I need to get out of the way. Adam, yeah, yeah. On the other side of the box is on the left hand side. Take some cover. All right, that means that uh, Ilyse has to move. I want to be under the table. <laughs> no, no, you have to move way away from me. Like actually, yeah. You can go there, Adam. That works. Mm. And you guys probably well, want to back away to even further if you can. It so that I can touch it. Yes, you have to. Did you take invisibility? Nope. No. This is going to be fun. So, you, I, Alisa, you can go here and hide under stuff so that you're not seen. Yes, I'm trying to hide cover. under the table. Okay. I, I didn't know how it senses, so I just wanted to get everybody away. Nope, you're, you're good. All right. Who moved the bomb? Oh, sorry. I was trying to measure distance. Apologies. Hey, Lizzie, why are you taking the bomb? Why is it near you now? What are you doing with that? Put it back. I, shouldn't, I know I shouldn't let players touch things. Do you know how long it took for Trigger to set that? God, now he has to do it all over again. I want to find that bomb. That is <laughs> Two seconds. Do you know bomb. how long it took for the Game Master to find that bomb? God, that is so inconsiderate. Everybody is 20 feet away, right? Everybody's measured their distance. I'm as close to 20 feet as I can get. You're close enough, ghost. Okay. I am probably the... No, I would wear the measure rod. So. Measure. Uh, oh, 23. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, Adam's close enough, too. So, you're all, you're all good. All right. So, um, Adam I'm begins making a down. ruckus. Is that what you're doing? I I heard a ruckus. Yes, I pound pound on the table. I heard a ruckus. <laughs> he takes out his drum, starts playing. <laughs> Flips one of the boxes over. Oh, um, can you give me a singing noise? I want to be an airborne ranger. Are right, you ready for that one? <laughs> oh wait, you're already at you're already at max of three, so it doesn't matter. I can't get a temp, Benny. <laughs> Maybe, We're need oh, Bob, Bob, enough time has passed that your negatives and bonuses are gone. Okay. So. Um, and. All right. Chris. Yes, sir. Again, give me a perception check. Only 15. Oh, bad oh you don't hear it coming. It drops into the middle of the room. Um, everybody roll initiative. I don't hear anything coming. Dude, I gave you I gave you a perception check. And he I, know. I know. I know. Because he has a blind sense. Oh, that's He right. was the only one who had it. So. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Get this creature in here. It drops itself right on your bomb. Ooh, Sivian, nice roll. So somebody will have to de who is detonating the bomb? Mikey is trigger. trigger yeah, trigger's trigger. got the exocortex to do it, and he has to close the vent behind it too. Mm -hmm. Yes, one is a move and one is a standard, so it'll be perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, he is out of his turn. 
No, not the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that, you could give the bomb an init order. That would be on Trigger's turn. So if you want to... Yeah, I'll, bomb, I'll, I'll, it'll, it'll activate on Trigger's turn. All right. My D20. Really? Really? I'm rerolling that one. No, I'm not rolling. I was going to say, do we all get to reroll? Yeah, I'm on the reroll. I think Josh, wait, has, wait, no. Josh yeah, has wait. to add us to the turn order, I think. Yeah. I tried to add myself in multiple different ways. You should be able to right click and just add. Yeah, I tried that. All right. Uh, turn. Turn. What'd you roll, Alicia? I rolled a big fat 10. Okay, double digits. That's good. City? Well, not. 19. Oh, nice. Still waiting to see Ozzy on the turn order. I'm working on it. Okay. Uh, so who wants to roll for Nala? Just roll a 1d20. I don't know what her dex is. I got it. Okay. Come on. 12. 12 it is. Can I trade with her? Okay. There we go. Well, that worked out well for you guys for trigger. Whew. Yeah. That worked out All really right. well. So, Trigger, on your turn, what do you do? Make things go boom? He oh, left. no. He's missing the best part. <laughs> the most connected part of the night where he's the key, he's the linchpin in the plan. And he left. You, let's assume that it's still alive. So, uh, Sivian, why don't we resolve Sivian and just move down and we can come back to Trigger when the time comes. <laughs> sure. All right. I'm going to shoot at it with my pistol. Of course, I have that preloaded in, which which is right here. Oh, you want to come up now? Dice? That's what you like to go on. Don't you have a button for that now, Chris? Yeah, it's just taking forever for it to do it. To resolve? Hey, trigger's back. I already pressed it, but it's not... Uh... Okay, well, I'll wait for that trigger. You are first, conveniently. So what do you do, Mikey? You're on mute, by the way, Mike. I detonate the bomb. <laughs> do you Good answer. Do you close the vent first or after? Uh, no, we close the vent. All right. Good choice. And you detonate the bomb. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to you in a second, Chris. Yeah, it was the first one, not the second one. So does he get a reflex save? Yeah, reflex save for half. And then he'll take no. half again because he's got... The, oh, uh, reflex save for whole. That's right, because he's an reflex operative. Reflex save for whole. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll take it, though. So roll 68, and let's see uh, how much damage he avoids. So or take, or take, I, think take you should, I think you should roll it, Mike. 68. Okay. Just don't get, uh, don't get 40. Huh? Mike's rolling? Oh, boy. Oh, wait. Why are we having Mike roll? Oh, God. <laughs> Because I don't, I'm Bad hoping idea. that Mike gets to like 39, because that's what Mike does. Because we have less than uh, a 1% chance. Seven, uh -oh. seven, sevens, six, oh six, I think we're good. I think we're okay. five, and a one. Four, oh. Plus 12, that's a 26 14, plus 5, 31, 32. Is that what you yeah. got? Yeah. All right, so what is my save, Bob? Um, ooh, what is the DC for a, a, what is this, a, a level one shock grenade? That's what the equivalent is. Okay. Shock. But there's seven of them. Yeah, it's, it's one roll. <laughs> Just looking it up in Starfinder. Yep. See what the reflex is. I put the formula in, so the number that rolls, if you show over here, we write the whole number. Area, mm -hmm. effect, damage. The... Ah, here we go. Uh, the DC for the reflex save is equal to 10 plus half the grenade's item level plus your dexterity modifier. Now, uh, Josh, you have a choice here because uh, it's not being thrown. But I, I, 
It could be his int, int modifier because he set it as an engineer. But I leave it Actually, to you. I will call it his dex modifier based on his reaction time. No, no that's the uh, the modifier of the person throwing the grenade or setting the right, but, but, but But triggers reaction time for hitting the detonator. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. So half the grenade's item level, it's a level one item, so it's just one there. Plus the 10 is 11. And Trigger, what's your dex modifier? My dex modifier is a five. So that is a 16 total DC. If he makes this DC, he takes no damage. That's gonna suck. <laughs> I failed to check. Three. Oh, what? Three. Oh, my God. oh, you only had a plus five too. So how much damage? Half of 32. Half no, there's no half. Oh, I thought you don't just get to take half because you're an operative? No, I don't <laughs> think so. Do I, Bob? You either take uh, half or you all or none. Oh, I think you're right. But let me double check. Uh, it's called evasion, right? Yes, he has evasion. Double checking. If you, right oh, if you succeed at a reflex save against an effect that normally has a partial effect, you instead suffer no effect. Right, so, he's, so he takes the damage. He takes the full damage. Woohoo! How about that? I love it when a plan comes together. So it was all or nothing. If he saved, it was nothing. If he didn't save... Oh, did we just okay. lose Jeff? Oh, Jeff's awake. Hi, Jeff. Hi. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back there, Jeff. So, Jeff, to recap, you guys set a trap in the room for the creature. It has just arrived. Or Mikey dropped a bomb. The stage set a series of bombs to ignite around it. It failed its save, so it just took 32 points of damage. You have closed the vent, so it cannot escape. You are trapped in the room with this creature. <laughs> Trigger is done. Sivian rolled a... We rolled initiative for you. Yes, you may get a bonus for that, Jeff. I don't know what your bonus was. Your 22 is a hit against EAC. I think we also lost Sivian. Sivian Not a Discord anymore. Uh, Sivian said to use the first roll for his lens pistol. Then the Sivian misses. All right, Ghost. He's back. You just, you just, Chris, you missed. Oh, Chris is back on Discord now. Hello. Hey, man. I, uh, bad news. We had to use your first roll, so you missed. If we could use oh, your yeah. second roll, that would have been awesome. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, Josh, a reminder to take five points off of that thirty-two for your damage resistance if you haven't yep. done it. Yep. Uh, he's gonna fire with the uh, semi-automatic pistol. The reflex save, by the way. I missed that part. He failed, failed the reflex save, so it took damage. Yeah, that was nice. So, uh, is this CR zero or less? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Please say yeah. Damn um, it. It's a standard attack. It, it, I'm going to click on azimuth pistol, but it's really just the semi-automatic pistol. Sure. But it's not going to do much of anything. Oh, actually, forget the damage. Uh... Is it a is a ten against uh, KAC a hit? I don't think that's gonna hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, it's a natural one, by the way. You roll those? I did. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. In the podcast I've been listening to, they have a table for that, and some of them are brutal. <laughs> shoot, shoot somebody else, kind of stuff. So, all right, you, you fail completely, Ozzy. Uh, Ozzy wants to climb up on the. Uh, oh wait! As a things. move action, he activates his uh, his holographic image, and images of ghost appear. Okay. Cat, sorry. Ozzy wants to climb up on the. Uh, uh, what you call it? The, the boxes. The, the box. The crates. Yes. Uh, and can I still attack after that? Um. Sure. You only move one square. All right. Then Ozzy will attack with a uh, defensive attack. So he's going to be attacking at a minus four. Rolled an eight to hit. That is going to be unsuccessful. I had a feeling. But I have plus two to AC. All right. Nala. Did he fall asleep again? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Come on, Jeff. Go on, Jeff. You can do it. He's not deafened, is he? I can undeafen him if he is. Jeff, come on. You can do it. Jeffy. Big Jeff. Come on, baby. Captain Nala, you have to attack the creature. Or get him. Or both. Uh, 
What was that? Right. It's your turn, Jeff. I'll it out here. Hey, we know. The slime creature is before you, Jeff. It's huge, and it's oh. time for you to attack. What are you going to do? Did anybody get hit that I should uh, Not heal yet. up? Not it yet. Not yet. Good shape there. It hasn't attacked yet. I will yell out that we should focus on that one. Get them. That is why you are the captain. That is a very smart thing. <laughs> I would not have thought of that. How about you, ADC? No, right? Can, can you shoot it too, Jeff? And I will shoot a natural 10. Plus... 15. Everybody remember, his plus yeah, is plus 5 if he falls asleep. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, sorry. Six. Sixteen is not a hit. I shoot, but I miss, and tell everybody to get him. And then we'll we'll wake you on your next turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now uh, I mean uh, I at least see. Oh, fine. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, we're gonna inject the nano. Get up there and hit it. I'm gonna go. I have my. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move. But since I can't run, because that's a different kind of action, I'm gonna casually stroll. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> you, you can hustle. <laughs> Actually, uh, if you if you cut the corner and you just go around him, you can get it to flanking, and that'll give you a plus two on your attack. Oh, so you guys, I was reading, so that was in a row, the second one's a 10, move. Say again, Chris, you cut out. The first one is a 5 on your diagonal, the second time you go on a diagonal, it's a 10. Yes, that is that's correct, yes. Go. Okay. Yep. That's actually a setting I have when I set up the map D&D &D or Pathfinder. Oh. Huh. For how it measures the diagonal. Interesting. Okay, so Okay, inject nanobots. So, oh, what's going on Ethernet? You can do a fortitude and will partial save. Fortitude partial and will partial save. But you have so, to touch it first. Yes, I have to touch it first. Say so it. I, I touch it. <laughs> That's where the money is. So to touch it. Seems reasonable. Uh, it's a nickel reasonable. attack. Usually EAC is lower than KAC, so for a touch attack, the way that's demonstrated is you target EAC, but you still have to roll an attack roll. You get your plus two for flanking with, with, uh... Yes. Twenty-two. Twenty-two hits both EAC and KAC. Oh, nice. Perfect. I really didn't want to have to stand next to this thing for very long, so... Mm -hmm. Alright, so I get a, a fort or a will save? Yes, but it's only partial. I'm still gonna do a bunch of damage to you. No. What am I saving against? 4d8 necromancy. N no. What what is the save I have to make? It um doesn't say. I think it's the same that I had. To think, uh, uh, Hold on. What's the name of the spell? Inject nanobots. Oh, that's a really cool spell. Seventeen. Oh, I made an eleven, so I failed miserably. What was the damage? I haven't done it. 4d8. Five. That's not good. Plus. Eleven. Sixteen. Sixteen. That is less than what I wanted, but it is acceptable. All right. May I move? No. Out of the way. No. You move there. You are now within range. It is the creature's turn. Just to clarify, there's a fortitude save for the damage and a will save for the confusion. Oh yes, and now it is confused. Okay, it can't as a as a an ooze, it can't be confused. Uh, right. It doesn't have any intelligence anyway. But what if it was confused? <laughs> <laughs> so it will uh, attack. Do not hit my dice. It will attack Ilisi, who no. hit it first. No, the bomb hit it first. Yeah, yes, but you were what hit it most recently, and you were right there. All right, so I will make my sneak attack I roll. It. it was nice knowing you, Ilisi. Thanks for uh, thanks for playing. Ghost. I rolled a four. Oh my gosh. Oh, good. 
Uh, four plus. Come back here. My stealth check is a. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh. Where'd it go? God, how do you guys keep track of all this stuff? I made a macro. <laughs> okay, bluff, intimidate, or stealth. Where are those things on my sheet here? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Under the skills. Section. Okay, my stealth is plus 21. So I have a 25. And then subtract 20. So five. So then the question is, is Ilisi level five or under? Which she is. She, she is. So you succeed on your trick attack. So now you have a choice. Do you want to instill on her flat-footed condition, minus two AC, or off-kilter, minus two to hit? Uh, she can have minus two AC. Okay. That's going to make it easy. Now you uh, resolve your attack, and you're going to get, uh, if you hit, you're going to get uh, sneak attack damage added to that. Oh, I still have to roll the hit. That's right. Yeah, that's a hit. Mm-hmm. Natural 18. Yeah, that's good. I at least he took 36 points of damage. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> I at least you're still alive? <laughs> Jules' face Hold is scary. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Jules got hit by that. Jules How many stamina did you have? I lost the video. I had five. <laughs> Five stamina. You took a rest before this when you guys were in the other room. Spend your RP. Okay. Okay. So what was your what was your max stamina? Okay. Max stamina is twenty. So that's all gone. All right, stamina's gone, and now you take sixteen now HP. Take... So what are you sitting at? Total hit points now. Eight. Ooh. Okay. I would like some healing soon, please. Trigger, you're up. Oh, I lost Mikey's picture. Oh, yep, no. he's still there though. You, 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 you hit Jules so hard it knocked Mikey's picture away. Yeah, I, yeah, you hit Jules so hard I lost everybody's video. Huh. <laughs> um, All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go drag Ilisi back. She'll be able to move on her turn before it goes. So. Yes, but I want to be out of the way. <laughs> Offense is the best defense. Alright, I guess I guess I'll leave Ilisi alone. She's fine. She's not unconscious or anything. Um, I guess at this point, the only thing I can do so we know piercing and slashing damage to do at least something. Um, all damages do the same thing. All dam. Oh, okay. So everything is half damage or something. Actually, hold on a second. It's DR five, so damage DR five. Okay. Yeah. So. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm confirming what immunities I have. Uh, uh. What's with this? I'm going to roll 3d8, and two of those threes are going to be eights. Yeah, that's I know, cool. right? You have, you have to live in quarantine with me, right? Hey, Bob, what do I got to do for this whole thing? Right. Okay, so it, all, all, all damage is DR5. There's no damage you can do that, is, that will not have DR5. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh. I tried to take a rest, but I rested too hard. Ghost, do you still have to share an eye rifle? That might be your best bet to start with and discard it. Yeah, I do. I just... Bob, do you remember the damage that thing does? 1d10. Okay. All right, we're going to take a shot with that first. All right. Because it takes a round to load it, I'm just going to drop it out. Yep. Uh, what does your scatter gun do? Uh, well, so the problem with the scatter gun is Ilisi is now standing in front of the Yeah, but you can move before Ilisi go. You can move and then shoot. Okay, so scatter gun does 1d4 penetrate. Um... Scattergun won't even pierce its damage resistance. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the drawback to the Scattergun, it, it does 1d4. All right. Uh, okay, so, uh, 19, uh, 21. You get a plus one because of get him. 22. Uh, another one from me. 
from tactical or something. <clears throat> that is a hit. 23 versus EAC. That is a hit. <laughs> 1d10 plus... Adam, if you got any dailies, we got to use our dailies. <laughs> yeah. So... I just come and get it. <laughs> wow. Uh, eight points of damage. Nice roll. Uh, quick question. Did you just take the eight from the 1d8? Because in addition, you would add um, your entire level because it's a long run. So what did you roll on the die? Whatever you rolled on the die, add four. Oh, I, I rolled a five. I rolled a five. Oh, you know what? I didn't. I, uh, I had this from my last level, which race. That's where I got the eight from. Hmm. Um. So actually, Josh, I'm sorry. It should be a nine. All right. I'm scrounging for every piece of damage we can do. So he did. No, roll. that that's fair. That's fair. I I didn't I didn't update that field, Bob. So thank you. I will fix that actually right now. Accent for being dead. Sivian, you're up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and where's uh, Ailisi? There she is. I'm going to get my dice roller out of the way for a minute. I'm going to move behind Ailisi. Hey, this is my daughter we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put my hand on her. Sh Wait, this is getting weird. Put my hand on her shoulder. Okay. And I'm going to uh, try to uh, invigorate her with some health. Mm. Oh, okay. And I gotta find where my dice roll. You know, I, I tried that when I was a little bit younger. It doesn't work the way you think. <laughs> I don't have my thing open. Oh, and look at that, max, max. So you get twelve hit points that restored. Is super useful because she's down sixteen, I think. So you got her back yes. to almost full. Also, not appropriate. Also, right. not appropriate that you don't have your thing open. <laughs> Ghost drop. Uh, that was your move in a standard. Uh, I guess. So that's all he's got, I guess, huh? Well, I guess we That's go it. for a trick attack again. Um, okay, can I, I go will do more damage if I'm up next to him. So he's going to get right up to Elise and say, You do not look so good. You should get out of here. And he'll attempt a trick attack. Is it a CR of the creature 13 or less? It is. It is a CR 8. Whew. It's a CR. It is a successful trick attack. And now we'll uh, try hitting with the survival knife attached, or the infernal knife attached to the bayonet. Or no, I, what was it attached to it? Oh, the knife was attached to the pistol. Trick attack, yes. Jules, Jeff, Jeff, wake up! Uh, ooh, natural 19. 27 against KA. With a plus 2 for flanking and a plus 1 for go get him. Great. Total damage, natural one. Uh, oh. So a total of 10 points of slashing, stabbing damage. All right. Ozzy Mandias. Uh, Ozzy is going to fight defensively once again, uh, but I am now at Did a... Do you have a way to fight offensively so you do more damage? Yeah, but it's a negative. T it's not really worth it. Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't think I took that. But I, I want to not get killed. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. Just leave it. Uh, I said, okay. The only right, other thought so, I, I had, uh, Adam, was if you did a, a double attack. Yeah, which really isn't that good. All right, so I'm at a minus four for fight defensively, but a plus two, two. for flanking and a plus one from what's yeah. wrong? Oh, and on top of that, because I succeeded on my sneak attack, it's a minus two to its AC. Right. Why is that, Bob? Uh, because I can I same power as you. I can do... Uh, it can't be flat footed. Oh, it can't be flat. Then I'll make it off kilter. It does a minus two to hit things. So, hey, Adam. Yeah, I'm going to roll. Yeah. That. So you're taking a minus one to hit. If you did a double attack, they would each have a minus one to hit. No, they would each have a minus five to hit. They because you, get, you incur an additional minus four. Right. So you get the minus four, but then you get the bonus for get them and the bonus for flanking. So they're each right. minus one. Yeah, but then I also wouldn't have uh, plus two to AC. That is true, but you would deal more damage. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm going to Benny this are one. You the, are you the tank 
or the striker. Figure it out. <laughs> I, I the whole time I've been playing, I've been the tank. It's just that these guys don't do shit. They they do crappy damage. It's not yeah, my you fault. Plus eleven of damage. Nobody else has that. <laughs> yeah, you're plus eleven. Two two of those plus elevens would do more for the party, I think. But fine. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do two attacks. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna Benny this. I'm gonna re-roll it. Aww. So here's the first. Up here, pressure. Twenty-three versus oh, AC. Twenty-three to hit. Twenty-three is a hit. So it takes twelve slashing. Oh, that's lovely. And then the second attack. Twenty-two is also a hit. And it takes another twelve. God, slashing. you rolled oh, a, like a one. Yeah. Well, it's only a D four, so I have a one in four oh. chance of rolling the same damage again. Oh, okay. I, that was. I think that was totally worth it. Nicely done. You just. You did more damage to it than all of us did. <laughs> if this was D and D, it would be bloodied oh. from the first time you encountered it. Oh my oh, god! Geez. <laughs> oh my god! How are we getting Nala? thirty-two points of? We don't have another set of uh, grenades to use here. Yikes! Nala! Jeff's out. Oh man, we had um, him for there for a second. He had a plus I, five. I, use a plus five. I, I, I feel. We should attack that one right there. Do you see it? Right there. Should, that one. We should, no, everybody, that one get your someone. attack. Get them. <laughs> get them, everybody. Those are both so good. So Adam should roll the two hit, and then Sivian can roll the damage. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, let's do what we really should do here. Nala comes over here to help flank so that somebody else, so he, he can get hit, and, and, and I at least he won't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. Well, Which he's close to the beast. Oh, actually, yes. you know what? Uh, yeah, do that. I at least see you have no stamina, correct? Correct. Correct. Then, uh, then you know what? I think she's going to heal you for 12 stamina. Oh, I agree. Cool. So cool. it's, it's get him and, and uh, inspiring. Can, wait, can, she, can Nala give a move? Yes, she can. She can give a move. But so I think we're better can, off getting plus one to hit and healing uh, Ilyse. Well, so she can heal Ilyse and give Ilyse the option to retreat, or she can heal Ilyse and give everybody plus one. Things that are plus things one. that do more da things that are dead don't do any damage. Okay, there you go. Nice job, guys. Thanks, Jeff. Good good work. Yeah, well done, Captain. That is you. That is why. Well, very much. That one is the captain. That you is why. You can do a guarded step, so it does not make an opportunity to attack against you. Such Retreat a one. leadership. Oof. Way back. And then you can do something like a Mites of Missile or something if you want. Or you can just shoot it with a disintegrator. And you might want to go this way. Cause then yeah, I'm going to go back that way. All right, so you're going to do a guarded step. Guarded step. Which allows you to retreat five feet. Uh, Ghost is still there, so Adam and so Ozzy and Ghost still get flanking. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and I'm going to Magic Missile. But I remember it has damage reduction five. Wait, do you have any other super high power spells? What are your highest power spells? You got anything good? <laughs> yeah, what you play this level? Or the carbon one? Um, I got caustic conversion at level two, which is magic nanites. Um, That's the touch attack we just use. No, it? this is different. Okay, these are different nanites. That deal four d four acid damage. Mm. Plus five additional damage in subsequent rounds, which is irrelevant. Oh, because it's damage resistant five. That's too bad. Yeah. Um, and then I have the magic missile, which we all know and love. <laughs> Those are probably not going to do much because of the damn that. Um, and then we have overheat, which is two d eight fire damage. Whoa. Um. Do that. Uh, yeah. Is that a touch? No. All right. Okay. Does damage in a cone, but I have selective targeting, so my friends don't get hurt. That's perfect. There you go. Blast him. Um, the only problem is that he can do a he can do a reflex throw, <clears throat> so just has to not succeed at that. Well, he can. and the throw is lower this time. So let's roll the dice. Let's see what happens. Good luck. Or you can use the disintegrator pistol. And that pistol no, does boring. That pistol does a one d ten though, right? That pistol does tremendous damage. Yes, but this does two d eight. I agree. Go for it. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, I have to roll to attack, right? Or not? Yes, you do. Uh, I don't know. Does it? Don't know. It's in a cone. Does it? I don't know if it has attack. I would assume it has attack. Roll. Is it called overheat? Yes. 
Thank you, Bob. It's one word. Got it. It's a level one spell. Um, oh, you automatically hit. It's just a question of saving throw. Alright. This is the DC on this is 16. Nice. I rolled it without any bonus. I made it without any bonuses. Uh, it takes no damage. It takes no damage. Right, at least he blows her for blasts her furnace at the creature, and it is unaffected. I want to know how much damage it will Sure. I rolled two eights. Are you kidding? Oof. Oh, boy. Um, I'm rolling a d4. Uh, odds, Adam, evens, Bob. Goes after our Ozzy. The tank. Good, good thing, tank. If, if it hits me by two, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak attack. That's gonna hit. Yeah, 16 plus 21 is yeah, okay. So sneak attack and now my regular attack. Oh, maybe not. Ooh. Ten plus What's it gonna be? Gonna be close. This is gonna be very close. Ten plus eighteen. Oh god. Oh. Ten plus eighteen. Oh, yeah. Eighteen. It has an eighteen to hit. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, but it's minus two to hit right now because it's off kilter from I, my it doesn't attack. doesn't matter. So 27 doesn't help you. Is it doing a combat maneuver? Is it trying to, like, trip me or disarm me or something? <laughs> Sneak attack doesn't count as a combat maneuver, sadly. There goes all my stamina. This is going to be a tough fight, guys. 33. That was the point. You haven't had to fight anything. The whole point of this was one hard encounter. After exploring them for the night, thirty-three damage, Adam. Ozzy. Do, do I still have those temp hit points? And are those hit points? Those, those go first, points. right? Stamina. Three temp, All right, so I have two stamina. You're still in stamina. I have thirty-two total yeah. stamina. That would eat up my stamina and probably take me down to half my health. <laughs> well, be a soldier next time. Be a Vesk. Yeah. Trigger, you're up. Whoa, I want Mikey's on a roll twenty. Is he on Discord? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's on Discord. I have to restart my other computer, so. So, Mikey, you're up, and this thing is bloodied. And it did Are you going to attack from range, Mike? Or do you need to move? Uh, and get no, in I, melee? Can from, I can attack from range. I have another range weapon. All right, okay. so you drop your shivin eye rifle. Withdraw your next one from your cheek, your cheek pouch, I'm assuming. Yep. Cheek okay. pouch of holding. Yes, so... Twenty-two verse E A C is a hit. Okay. This one is one D six plus piercing. Seven points of damage. Nice. Two points of damage. Yes. Chipping away. Chipping away. You might want to consider overload, Mike. And yeah. Sivian, you're up. Is okay, a, so... A quick question. Is overload a move action? So I can give overload to anybody. Basically, what overload is as a standard action, uh, standard. I, can use my, I can use my custom rig to overcharge and attack with a ranged energy weapon or a melee weapon. Got it. Okay, so basically... Oh, and I, uh, if you hit, you deal 1d6 additional damage of the same type the weapon normally deals. But you, deal, but you spend an extra two charges. Right. You exp so, so if you were at, let's say, and I can give it to somebody else, so I can go and touch Adam's weapon. Right? Um, if, it, if it was, if I had a, a charge, um, yeah, a weapon yes. with charge, yes. but yeah, well, for example. You have to have a weapon, right? So you have to have a weapon that has a battery or a power cell. Got it. But it would cost Adam, let's say, three rat, three charges, for example. Yes. So anybody that wants that, I can do that. Or you I can do it on. Which is the Mikey? It's a standard action, and they get an additional D6. Is that what it is? Yes. Yeah, not worth it. it is, but if Mikey does it to himself. If I do it to myself, it is. It, it is. Oh, then it's worth it, yeah. You should, <clears> yeah, yeah. yeah, you should definitely. You want to do it right now, Mikey? I, I will let you retcon if you want to do it this time. Uh, okay. so we want to re okay, so just redo that as if I used overcharge. I you just added d6 to the roll, you were down to 17 charges on that gun. 
That's fine. Oop. Gotta keep the dice on the board. Uh, another five from the D6. Okay. Because that's that's pure bonus on that's pure damage on top of that. Exactly. Alright, Sivian, you are up. All right. Uh, Sivian uh, mumbles some words and ra waves his hands around, and you see a shimmering, um, almost ninja star-like shape form in front of his face. Oh. And he hurls a uh, energy force towards the creature. What's that? Um, right. It's hurl force disc. Oh, uh, use this against you. Yep. It. Yep. So it is uh, against your EAC. It's ranged against your EAC. So I guess it's just like my lens pistol. I can make a lens pistol attack. Yes. It's a. Uh, let me double check and make sure it's not automatically hit. But no, it says uh, ranged. I believe. Then... Choose a target and make a ranged attack against its EAC. You're right, buddy. You're right. So it's just if you use your lens disc macro, it's the same thing. All right. Except for the damage, of course. <laughs> Now let's see. Now whatever you roll here, you're gonna add two. One for get him and one for coordinated shot. Eighteen twenty twenty-one. Ooh. You used every bit of that to get a hit. Wow. Nice. wow. Okay. Now it's a three D six roll. Oh man. Do I get a reflex save for this? Uh there is no save, I believe. Let me look again. Oh my god. If the attack hits, the disc deals. The disc then ricochets. Doesn't say anything about it. Yeah, usually if you have to roll an attack, roll, you don't also get a save. Save, kind of saving, one or the other. saving throw, none. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. Love it. 3D. Save, saving throw, none. So it's just a 3d6. 6x6. Six, six, six. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's fantastic. All right. I got a minus that. Bug bug. Oh. Why are you not doing what do you, this what all do you the minus? time? What are you doing oh, back that, there? My spell, so I have no more um, level uh, two oh, spells. Okay. Ghost yeah. throw. Uh, trick attack again. Uh, that's scary. gnarly. That was amazing. If, if there was multiple targets, I could have hit up to four more, I believe it is. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, so I failed on my sneak attack with another natural two for the, <laughs> for the second time in this fight. Uh, so that, that just leaves me with the pistol that does one d six. So let's let's exercise this utility. Use a Benny. Oh yes, I'll use a Benny. I didn't think about that. All right, there you go. Uh, my, you know what? It's not going to matter because my attack roll was a natural three. So even if I succeeded on the sneak attack, you roll re roll everything with the Benny. Start at the beginning again. Oh, if you want. Right. Sure. You are down to two. Uh, is the yep a ten or less on the CR? Yes, CR five, CR eight. That's better. Uh, the only catch is this is one D six and not one D four. I'm down to two bennies. What's your? Uh, would a nineteen twenty twenty one against KAC? No. Right. Are you? Yeah, probably. I think that's right. So, just for the record, oh, you guys have hit enough to know that it has a 20 EAC and 21 KAC. So, all these get -ems are just hitting. Everything is hitting just because of get -em or um, the other atoms of the thing. Go yeah. for it, Captain. So, so damage so is... Are you going to tell us how many hit points it has left? No. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll do the pistol damage first, which is the 1d6. I mean, the, uh, the knife, oh, right, knife right, damage. Right, right the whole equation. You can do it. So the that's four, and then oh that's not right. I wanted to do that three times. It's three, seven, and sorry about this. Right. Seven plus five, twelve points of uh, damage. All right. And that's it for him. That's it for him, Ozzy. Ozzy, you're you right, buddy. We can't hear you. You're on mute. He's trying to. No, make I, I, sorry. Yeah, full attack. Oh, there no. we go. 
<laughs> you can double wall coming through. You doing a, do a double attack again at him? Yeah, double attack. Yeah, I, I figured out how to actually turn up the volume on that. That's why they're coming through now. Oh, that's nice. Uh, attack number one, mm -hmm. and I believe the total is still a minus one. He's still minus one over there. 28. Natural 28. 20. Oh, yeah, but it doesn't take any extra damage, so it's still only 14 damage. Wait, uh, right. Josh, can you confirm on a crit? It doesn't take the crit benefit, but it still takes the double damage, right? Or no? It does, it, it take, it, okay, it does not take the crit damage. It takes regular damage, but it does take the crit effect. Uh, I don't have a crit effect on this weapon. We didn't put a fusion uh, on that thing just yet? We gotta do that when we get back. Yeah, there's, there's really no fusions I like, but yeah. We'll, we'll take a look. Maybe we'll, maybe that's and, fine. Yeah, that's the actual damage roll. And here's number two. That's nice, 27 right? for 15. Oh, oh my god. god. Look at those rolls. Adam, where have you been hiding these? Uh, nowhere. I've been doing all the damage this whole time. Each one <laughs> of these attacks is more than a trick attack from Ghost. That's awesome. <laughs> The, 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 the dark, the blackness is the creature has begun to to roil and bubble and, and, and boil almost. It's it's and the, the, the blackness has become unstable, for lack of a better term. Um, is uh, anybody hurt that now like, Ozzy need Ozzy has a ton of stamina damage, right? Yes, yes, I could take the healing. Uh, and anybody want to give heal. want to pretend to be Nala? Uh, I, I don't want to rule the stage. I'll let somebody else do it. I can pretend to be Nala. Go ahead. I was. I, I, I also. You, mark, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I you gotta say. One healing, if you need it. Say, oh yeah, I have some serums. This is this is stamina though. You guys can't st the serum is still okay. Inspiring boost. Oh. oh, come on, Ozzy. It is not that bad. Come Get on, up Ozzie. and go back this at it. Not, come on, Ozzy. This is why you have a cult. You cannot die. You have to. You. They have. They need you. A cult. <laughs> they need you. A cult. Your cult. Yeah, your cult. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. No, that was good. <laughs> that was perfect. And and uh, Ozzy, when you get up, attack the big thing in front of you right there. Everybody, <laughs> <laughs> attack the big one. You ready for your magic whistle last time? They're not gonna do anything. So that was convenient. I at least see your turn. I, I guess I'll just shoot it. It's a that's a disintegrator gun. I would kill for that gun. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't believe you guys just gave it to me. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so, what, what, what did you? What did you? Let's do the math. What does your disintegrator pistol do? One d ten. Plus. Plus. Okay, what do your magic missiles do? It, it's one d ten plus half your level, so one d ten plus two. So twelve maximum. Okay, and then the missiles do, um, one d four plus one each. That's a better deal. Because they don't miss. Isn't it five resistant though? It is. Yeah, but, but the Ninja missiles can do more, and there's no chance of a miss. Gotcha. Because you get a plus one per missile, so that automatically means you're gonna make you're you're saving you're you're doing better off there. Mm -hmm. No, it means that every time you roll, you could still be getting nothing. No, no, you, you add up the total damage, and then you subtract yeah. the five. <laughs> I was getting my dice because I like them better. That's fine. Your dice are mean to me. So my dice. Hold on as we get the jewels gets your dice ready. I think I agree with with Josh's uh, assessment. You're gonna do at least one, two, two points of damage maybe to the creature with your magic missile. And I'm going to. Well, should I move or should I not move? Because if I don't move, then I can. Don't move. Do three. Get don't the move. get the extra missile. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. It's worth it to get the extra missile. That order ranks your thing. Four plus two is six plus three is nine. Nine. Okay. Ooh. So that's yes damage, which does like nothing. The bubbling gets worse. Ooh. I think we are winning, guys. This is good. I think we are killing it. Oh, Adam again. Sneak attack. Oh, he may not make Four this. Four plus 21 is a 25. Minus 20. It's five. Oh, he makes it by I'm a level four. Yep, you, hit, you still got your sneak attack with a four. That, Next so attack. If your D20 three. attack is more than a seven, you hit me. Or a five. Which All right, hit. a hit. Again, at 11. So it's going to be slash R. 
D12 plus 8 plus 3 D8. Boom. Oh, boy. Kill him harder than we killed him. Oh, nope. That's fine, too. 27 is what you hit me for? Yes, sir. All right, I have 19 hit points left. You have 19 still? Oh, yeah. I <laughs> lost. I just lost. Well, I just got healed for 12 stamina. I would be and on I the had floor a couple left. Ten times over, I would be on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you lucked out, Bob, because I keep rolling for him. I mean, he's even your odds. He's odds yeah, even. If I get hit again, I'm dead. I will point Trigger. out, there are still three other ghosts. There are four total ghosts that look like they're attacking him. So he'd have to Bob. hit the right ghost. He disregards that he has blind sense and tremor sense. He knows which one is you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Trigger, you're up. Trigger. Trigger is going to... Shoot him with his laser... Oh, actually... Let me ask you a question. If, he, if Trigger turns on his combat track... Right. It doesn't move. It's a move action. So this is a move action now, right? So you're supposed to gain insight into vulnerabilities, combat tactics, allowing you to make attacks against your target as if your base attack bonus from your mechanic level were equal to your mechanic level. So you have plus five to hit. Right. And no, I think I think it's more than an extra plus or less than an extra plus five, because what's your base attack bonus right now? Uh, my B A bitch B A B is where's my B A B? Uh, for range, oh, it is less. My my basic range is eight, right? Yeah, what, your base attack bonus is eight. Yeah, for range. That's impossible. Eight. Your base oh attack bonus can't be more than your level. <laughs> In fact, it's probably half your level. Oh no! Sorry. That, that's, that's my attack bonus. Okay. <laughs> my my BAB is is yeah the the total for a range because it's also right, right. But what's just the base attack bonus? Uh, base attack bonus is a three. So I think this would make your base attack bonus a four. Because instead of it being you know whatever half yeah, your yeah, level yeah, or what yeah, have you, it would be your level. Right, so it would be a four plus my dex modifier, so a total of five. I mean, a total of nine instead of eight. So effectively, it give you a plus. It gives me effective plus one. That that makes sense, right? Did you guys lose me, or is unless that you want to do an overcharge, I think it's either or. Yeah, agree. Yeah, I can't do both. It would be an over. I guess I could do an overcharge. <laughs> I'm taking a rest. All right, so what's Scoop? All right, Scoop is we're going to use the overcharge again, I guess. So, plus 8 is 21. Plus 1 from Adam is 22, and 1 from Nala is 20. 20 whatever hit. 23 versus EAC. Is it hit? Okay. Uh, he does a total of... 11... 12 points of damage. The, the creature is... It almost... It's like it's, it's, it's literally a, a high boil now. I mean, the, the amount of activity going on within the creature is, is crazy. Sivian, you're up. All right. I'm going to step forward one. You are going to do another one of those spells. Yes, let us see that fourth disc again, Bugman. <laughs> uh, yeah, so i um, totally out of that. So I'm just going to try to shoot it. Wait, wait. You are, you are going <laughs> to use the pea shooter? You have the forces of the gods. Use the power of God itself. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Yeah, kind of just already did it, so mm, don't have that anymore. Uh, you, How come you don't get this excited when I use spells? <laughs> well, he, if you either you would not want to step up to use your sh to shoot. All right, I'll slash him with my sword. Okay, that you can do. All right, that'll do. I'm also more damage, anyways. 
Alright, and... <gasps> Natural oh, 20. Oh my gosh. Alright, so you deal... I rolled a natural 1. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a natural 20. That's unfortunate. 1d6. You rolled a 4 plus... I'm, 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 what, what's going on here, Bob? I'm missing it. So Is it 8 damage? Uh, it's eight damage. The five is the uh, bonus crit damage, but he rolled a four on the one d six, and then he's level four. So with a melee weapon, you add your level to the damage. So four plus four equals eight. All right. Is there a, a effect? Uh, for my dueling tactical sword? Uh, yeah. Hold on one sec. I think there is. Uh. uh oh. I thought the effect was irrelevant. No, the effect exists. The double damage doesn't. Uh. All right, let's see. Doing tactical. Uh, uh, slashing. I, uh, no to the burn. Critical is, yeah, it's a, uh, oh. no, that's it. No, 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 no. I'm looking it up. Hold on, let there's me, no critical here, but you, you tell me. I got to look at my other sheet. I don't think so. All right, ghost. Uh, oh, and I taunt, I taunt it, but can I taunt it too? You can taunt the mindless creature, sure. Good, I taunt it. <laughs> What, what was that right there? Yeah, that, that was that the, was really the, weird, bud. Why did you do like that? It's like an appendage, an appendage. It looks like a hand comes out and flips you the bird. <laughs> Dude, that's so rude. Uh, successful trick attack. Yep. Bob's crazy nice. Uh, I rolled a natural four, four at twelve. But no, I'm not gonna use a Benny. I missed. All right, Ozzy. Uh, let's do the same. You know, it's worked twice before. Let's do it again. <laughs> that that sounds cool. It's awesome. Should make you all charge your own sound effects. Oh, first one's a nine. That is a natural effect. one. Second one's a fourteen. I'm, you know, I'm going to use the second Benny. Oh, there you All go. Right. Sixteen, no better. And a thirteen. I guess my luck ran out. Oh, oh man. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Let's go back to these. Don't we add stuff to these? He has a plus yeah, two for flanking, and yeah, and a plus one for get him. So it'd be a natural plus three. Right, but I'm at a minus four because I'm doing two attacks. Yeah. Total. Yep. Yeah. Full attack. Oh, you've already got that macro. Set. That's why it's. That's why there's the minus one at the end. I'm with you. Oh. Nala is still sleeping. Um, Anybody need an? Does that mean they need healing? Well, that was that was that was pretty uh, West well, African. Yeah, as he say, as he does, but I can't be healed again. Um. Uh, All right. Uh, if you so want, it, if you want, Nala can give you a move. You can guard it, step backwards. That way, when it attacks, it only works on the two of us, and we can take a hit. And then you can that's come why back in and finish it. That's why I stepped forward. That was nice, Chris. Uh, or she can just shoot it. Ghost would lose flanking. That's fine. That's I'll, true, you guys I'll, would lose flanking. That's okay, I can move around on my turn and get flanking. Nah, if I, if I get knocked down, you guys just pick me up afterwards. No biggie. Get back up again. But then we lose your... Office. Never going to keep me down. You're the only thing that will knock this down. That's the thing. It's close to being knocked you're out. Our you're our tank That's and you're our cannon. You're <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm a plate cannon? Yes, exactly. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, well, she's definitely doing get him. It's just the other thing. Yeah. I'd say use the guarded step. Up to you, though. Can I, can I use a guarded step to climb off, to, to come down off the uh, sure. the boxes? Right, sure. I'll do that. If you want to give me an acrobatics, you can somersault off backwards. Uh, no. No. <laughs> now with an acrobatics of zero. I give you a nine, but the judge from Eox gives you a six. Oh, sorry, acrobatics of two. Still not doing it. All right. <laughs> I don't want to sleep and fall. Okay, um, I'm going to use my magic missile again. Sounds good. Kill it. Because I did the math. And oh, is she going to get to kill everything? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she can kill this turn. She's on a run. She really is. Tahamin, the slime creature. How many points do I need to kill it? More than you can roll. How many do I need? I'm not telling you. Roll. Thanks, no Chris. fun. I'm 
I do six damage. Is that including the minus five? Oh, it's minus five. Hold on. What did you roll? I rolled a ten, so minus five is five. Okay. So that was good. That was solid. All right. Um, I'll be right back. Lola's on the toilet. <laughs> um, I'm rolling a d6 here. Oh, uh, Ozzy's out of reach. Sivian is a uh, uh, odds. Ghost is evens. I have rolled three ones in a row. <laughs> Good luck, Sivian. He hits hard. That's okay. 21, you are going to be taking the pain of... Um, my sneak attack. Nice. My, 31 my, to hit. My attack of a natural 16 is going to hit. Yep. So it's going to be slash R D 12 plus 8. Josh is better at being an operative than I am. Just want to say. Oh. 29 damage to Sivian. Josh no. is also twice your level. Mm. That's true. All right. I also I have uh, this thing called shared pain. Okay. It says, whenever foe deals damage to you, you can spend one resolve point as a reaction to shift some of the pain back onto that foe. Unless the foe succeeds at a will save, reduce the damage you take from the attack by your mystic level to a maximum of the attack's damage, and the foe takes an equal amount of damage. So it would reduce it by four. It would do four to him. Uh, but since he's got damage resistance of four, he would take no damage. So I say Good. save your resolve point for if you need to heal yourself. That would be my All recommendation. Right. And I actually have uh, a machine on that, so good choice not using it. All right. So 20, minus 29, you said? Yes. Yeah. How are you doing no on problem. health? Perfect. Are you going to update yeah. your numbers? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Okay. It's only to my stamina anyway. I got 30 stamina. He's got one stamina left. <laughs> oh, my God. You're like a beast. But I have, 30, but I have 36 hit points. Wow. All right. Trigger. Trigger, kill this thing. Alright, Trigger's gonna... One more time, he's gonna overcharge. Alright, so this will be your third time, so you're down to 11. Yep, this will be, this one, be the equivalent of nine charges. Uh, I am really digging this hit point shot display thing. I'm that's really cool. You're welcome. That's what I was asking, Bob, if you could modify that when you roll your your back rows. I am with you now, Josh. 23 versus EAC. Is a hit? Is a hit. Of, yes, it is. You are correct. You said that earlier. Uh, ooh. 11 points of damage. Ooh. Is it going to be that's enough? Not, that's, not, that's not including damage reduction, correct? That is not, yes, that, that's correct, sorry. That is, you have to take the five out of that. So six total. It, it, is, it is boiling to the point you guys think it is going to explode, spewing stuff everywhere. Should we move it up. back? It's I destabilized. Hide I hide behind ILEC. <laughs> <laughs> think I'm a reliable shield? You know, if Ghost and Ozzy... Ooh, there's, there's a chance I at least you can get the killing blow again, depending on how it works it's out. Only a, I know, I know. Only a, ten, only a 10. Oh, but you rolled max damage. See that blue? Yeah, but I only rolled a 10 against its EAC, which is a 21. Oh, sorry. The, the bubbling ichor on the outside caused no, it's it's many. Many. He said it, it's not high enough. Cause I don't know why my other number... He doesn't All right, I'll... Flash. Ghost. All right, I got I got one Benny. Why don't I use it? Your choice. But you won't have it for future adventures, and we have this almost in the bag. This could save your life someday. It's your call. Though. All right, go ahead. Next. Ghost. Uh, Ghost's going to do the trick attack thing. Uh, 12 or less, the sneak attack is successful. Did you roll more than a two, Bob? I think I finally <laughs> have rolled more than a two. Did you roll three? <laughs> We rolled a 14. Good job, Bob. Thank All right, you, damage. Attack roll. It's coming. And uh, the attack roll is a 26. Nice. The damage hit. is 11. Stabbing. So six, so six damage? So six damage total. That's that's up there, almost up there with some of mine. That was a good roll. That's, that doesn't, doesn't get better than that. 
The creature is clearly on its last legs. Appendages are flailing out randomly. The it is it is it's almost done. Ozzy. Oh, uh, he's going to then move backwards using the remainder of a sneak attack because it allows a move. And because okay, uh, he's the subject of the trick attack, he gets no free attack on him. So he's going to... That's nice. far. How far did you just go there? What's that? How far did you go? Uh, he's got a movement of 40 feet. I don't know what that was. 35 feet. Okay, that's fine then. As he's going to move back up onto the uh, whatchamacallits, and yep. he's going to he's going to do a normal attack. He's going to go the full right. 40. I'm just going to put him back five more feet, just in case. Sure. <laughs> sure, would like so a little I'm bit of this Plus three. You got a zero. How did I get a zero? Oh, because I added plus three. Anyway, it'd be uh, nine. He said plus plus three. It'd be 18, which is not enough. Is that including your flanking? And your get him? Yeah, it includes flanking and get him. All right. I'm not going to use my last penny, just like, uh, just like Chris. <laughs> Somebody. Oh, God. There, there it is. Get them. It's gonna be Nala. Nala's I'll take 12. Finish this. I'll take 12, I'll take 12 points as well. Oh, yeah. yeah I was going to say, get them and healing um, uh, Sivian. Sivian. That's good. So, yeah. Plus 12, Stam. And that's the end of Nala's turn, which takes us to Ilisi. Oh, no. Is it going to be Ilisi that finishes the no, monster you again? Hey, thank, thank you, uh, Nala. Jeff, you for, thank you, Nala, for. Yeah. Healing me. <laughs> You've been doing great this time. This, yeah, this uh, use my disintegrator pistol. Get, get After, them, I don't have them. any spells left. Tony, Jules, you have like five magic missiles. You have use your spell bag. Uh, why oh, did oh, you move away? You survived it. I don't want to oh, get the explosion. Gosh. I'm gonna use my spell. Uh, it's pad. it's gonna kill me if it hits me. <laughs> oh, and it might kill Chris too. Oh, mm. well, right, that is too bad for you. I am so sorry. Are you, what are you doing? I'm gonna use my spell cache and go for some more magic missiles. Are we gonna roll? Roll! Oh, those are two ones. And that's, that's eleven. Two. Okay, well that's four plus three is seven minus five is two. two. <laughs> I looked at Jules and said it had two hit points left. Jules are oh as poorly as possible to do two damage. <laughs> the creature. You know, we don't even need the rest of us. Jules can just play this game by herself. It is true. She kills everything. God. The magic missiles disappear into the blackness, and the creature explodes. I, my mouth is shut. My mouth is shut. <laughs> do I have time to, like, duck a little bit? <laughs> no, because this is what happens now. It's like the State Puff Marshmallow Man. Oh, we got to kill the little ones. Into the seven oozes that it was composed of. <gasps> oh, no. But there's only six of us. Well, that's no. bad. That oh, look, they all conveniently land near you. How convenient. Oh, poor Bugman is flanked by two. One almost makes it the ghost. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's really all that we need. Is seven. Okay. And a note. Comes drifting down. It says to be continued. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> but but it's it's taped to the missing piece. Oh, oh nice! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> we will pick up here because I don't think you guys have another hour in you. No. <laughs> no. Jeff didn't I, have I don't, this. Anymore. I don't think I have any more good rolls. <laughs> like I'm all I out. obviously don't. Yeah. You are making up for some early sessions. I haven't seen so many 20s. That was amazing. Man, yeah, lots of sixes the way, there, too. Uh, Chris, do you have any ranged healing? Uh, no. Oh, okay. So, uh, I've got ranged I healing. I do. I, I do. I have mystic. Uh, well, I can, yeah, I can cure. I have three more uh, mystic cures. So is this a satisfactory encounter so far? This yeah, is yeah, it's brutal. a nice fight. I, I gotta say, I really appreciate the the high damage. I, I don't know if its HP was, if its hit points and stamina were high or not, but had a relatively low, relatively for its level, low armor class, and I really think that's a good combination. Because it's right, very so, threatening, but it's not impossible. Mm -hmm. So this was actually the winner of the um, Monster March Grand Prize winner from Cosmic Crit for their first year. It's the Liquid Carbon Golem. CR8 uh, medium construct considered an operative 
Hit points 138, <laughs> EAC 20, KAC 21. Um, I did. It has a, a triple attack. I did not use that. Instead, I went with a sneak attack, and I also re- the sneak attack was actually four D eight. I brought that up three D eight to make it a little softer because I yeah. knew it was pushing that stock with you guys. Glad you were the kill. I'm um, just curious from a, from a CR budget, like creature budget. Uh, where does this land on our to our party? Is it on level? Is it above level? I don't know. I didn't do okay. the math. But I knew that the damage output would be brutal for you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I knew it could it could single hit you guys. You know, there there if it hit um, I at least a little harder or Adam will even even Adam a, uh, a second time. Yeah. I mean, for the majority of our weapons, most of our weapons are D six, and this thing has a five resist. That DR five is brutal for you guys. I sent I sent the creature in the link in a, as an email link in case you were curious. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I have six. I have six different weapons, and one of them, one of them, which is a rifle, does a D eight. Yeah, no, I, I knew the damage part would be hard. That's why and I know you guys like to tap. I, I, I forget like, too, Mike. Yeah, my my whip's only a D four. I just you have crazy static bonuses too. Yeah, my my weapons are a D four and a D six. That's all I can do right now. Yeah, but but we don't have those static yeah, bonuses. D four, D six, and one. No, you got some though. You're not just rolling a D eight. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it, you know, but it, I mean, it's it, it, it the laser rifle, right? If you crit, you get a one D burn. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, that does kind of suck. You have to crit. I mean, all the bonuses on these weapons are you have to crit. Mm-hmm. There's no other bonuses. It is curious to me. You can put multiple magic effects on a weapon, and then if you roll a quit, you have to choose which of those crits yeah, apply. You get to choose which one applies. Which is too bad. I imagine for that investment, you should just have them all apply and make it really amazing. But I understand where they're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, let's wish Jeff a good night. Yeah, sleep well, Jeff. Good night, Jeff. Good night, Jeffrey. Jeff's starting to piss me off. <laughs> to be blunt. <laughs> I mean, it's 9 o'clock. We've been playing for like two hours. He's already asleep. Hey, yeah. you can't help it. He's a tired guy. We understand. Wait, he gets up early. Wait. Who anything? What? what? Tell him the what? Uh, coffee, baby. Coffee. <laughs> Although, I like Chris. You and I were texting at 6.30 this morning, and yet here we are. Yeah. Exactly. I was, I was already up for two hours. What are you talking about? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, get up before, I get up at 4.30. Yikes. I'm, so, up, I'm up. At, I'm up at five thirty every day. There you go. Yeah, but, but it's also like nine o'clock there right now. So it is nine o'clock, <laughs> and yep. it's still light outside. By the way, that's amazing. Wow. So how, how did this the dungeon work as a whole with the exploring the the light sources? Oh, cool. Um, yeah, that was good. That was that was a good oh, yeah, twist. No, this, this was totally cool. Enjoyed it. All right. Do you guys think it stretched a little too long, or were you okay with the duration of wandering the dungeon? No, I, I kind of went no. back and forth a little bit, like oh yeah, you got to go down here and then you got to go up there. I thought that kind of got a little old. Yeah, and that's I mean, why we pushed it along as fast as we could. Out. Yeah, I can't believe some of that for you to move it, to move it along. Yeah, um, no, that that I appreciate because I agree with that. That could be painful, like to to Jules's point, like oh my god, we have to go back down, go back up, then we have to go. Yeah, but I think we found stuff. I think that I mean we, we you know there was there was little hidden gems places, so you know we came away with some treasure. I'm not really sure how we would have. Actually, eaten. Yeah, actually, we haven't found much in here yet at all. Agreed. We didn't. We didn't find cred sticks or anything on the dead guys. Found some. Yeah, you found some stuff like that. What was your yeah. question, Bob? Uh, just an, if we hadn't kept those uh, grenades or the explosives, uh, I don't know how we would have bested this creature. I think we really would have had some trouble. That is a very good point. You're I absolutely right. I don't usually throw hard stuff at you. I mean, I throw stuff that's supposed to be hard at you. This time I was really afraid I crossed the line, and I almost did if I hadn't reduced the, uh, the damage a little bit. But this was—I heard about the creature in the podcast. I saw it in action. I heard it, listened to it in action. I filed it away. I knew the theory, the theme I wanted to do for this dungeon, for lack of a better term. So it all tied together really nicely. But this, and this was the right time because if you guys were another level higher, the six of you would have taken this thing apart like it was nothing. Yeah, no, I think it was. I think it was fine. I think you had to play a little bit of strategy, and and you know people couldn't just blindly stand next to it. Right, but now you get surrounded by oozes, so that works out for me. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, we still have seven of them. To now that you're softened us up, you're going to kill us with the little cuts. Yeah, <laughs> and those things were hard too. They're going to 
we still These may have a few people are going to No, remember we, we killed it with like two slashes. Did we? Yes, yeah, there's yeah, slashes. Yeah, we we I, did. I don't think you guys did. Yeah, but you have to, slashing does serious damage to him. That's all. So. Okay, we'll see. Uh -huh. uh, let's all make a mental note when we get back. We need to buy 10 more grenades, even though they're slightly expensive. This is useful and, to have. And you mean that I don't know if we can do that because these weren't grenades. These were just these were explosives with detonators. You can attach yeah. grenades to detonators as well. I was oh, okay. I, I'll double check the rules, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Okay. All right, guys. All right, folks. All right. Good I'm job, guys. You, well I'm done. It was a lot of fun. Great. Right. And we'll yeah, see awesome. you next bad time. Same bad channel next week. Cool. Thank you, guys. Good Have time. a good night, guys. Thanks all. Thank Take care. All right, later. Go ahead.